Okay, so 48 man bracket. This is the first heavyweight bracket of season two. Um, just a reminder of the rules in case you've never seen them before. Bop. There's the heavyweight rules. 3,500 total stat cap. No individual stat cap, meaning you can go all the way to 999 if you want. And stats at 100 or below don't actually count towards the cap. That helps with saves coming, and so you don't have to grind shit down to one because nobody wants to do that. I don't want to do it, and if I don't want to do it, I don't think it's fair to make someone else want to do it, you know? It also gives people less of a reason to cheat. And we're all about that here. Look, that challenge just my name there. No monster name. Oh, yeah, there's a, a couple here that are strange. Uh, if we can't find them, sucks to suck. Like, I mean, I, I gave instructions that were very, very, very clear. Um, this is literally copy and pasted from the monster and trainer entry. If uh, you couldn't follow that, you couldn't read two lines of rules, then I I apologize, but um, literacy is one of the requirements to make it into this tournament. Okay, so first up we got Mango, belonging to Aaron and Kushala, belonging to Dan. Let me get my stuff ready. Takes, takes a while. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Let me check what Uncle Dre's monster was, because it's pretty embarrassing that two weeks in a row people still fuck up. Um, like, I genuinely don't feel bad for anybody, because the rules are explicit. I don't know what happened to your, your monster name. Uh, you entered it in uh, the wrong file. Here, let me, let me show you what you did. I'm going to make an example of you right now, because honestly, this keeps happening, and I don't know why. I have no idea why it keeps happening. It's actually embarrassing. You should be embarrassed. Please fill out the form. I put four fucking asterisks here because people weren't reading. Please fill out the form in the format asked, i.e. Dr. Baloney Nash. If your monster's name includes foreign characters, please fill out the search key. And here it says monster name, rancher name, and here it says search key. I cannot make it more simple. I literally cannot make it more simple. I cannot make it any more simple than this. If you put your monster name in the search key, it's because you didn't read this. And if you didn't bother reading this, why should I bother entering your monster? I'm going to, but like, Jesus Christ, people. Read the fucking form. It's two sentences. It's two sentences and so many people fucked up. Genuinely embarrassing. You want to see? Here's all the people that fucked up. UFK, Jamlord, Uncle Dre, Tiggs, Brother. You're a streamer. You run your own tournaments. You couldn't even do it. What is this? What is this, dude? You can't even do it? Christ almighty. Actually sad. Spittoon. It's the Kajira name format. It's not even my own format. It's a format that exists already. It's a format that exists already. You guys don't even need to read it. You need to have just entered other tournaments. Actually embarrassing. I'm embarrassed for you, and I'm embarrassed that we have to do this. Anyway, while all of the illiterates have been shunned, uh, now it's time to get back into it. But the reason I did that is I need to actually find out what Uncle Dre's monster is named. Uh, Mangdonald. Okay, it's <laughs> a good name. You know what? You're forgiven because the name is good. That's all it takes. Uh, let me adjust that real quick. A spanking hasn't even been 10 minutes in? Don't give me a reason. Don't give me a reason. That makes me sound like an uh, abuser, but... That one literally is your own fault. Next week, everyone's gonna fuck it up. Next week, we just wanna run a bracket out about that. Okay. So, first up, we got Mango and we got Kushala. Mango, back in action. Oh, shit. This man's gonna start raiding me. This man is going to raid me 
after proving his own illiteracy, proving he's not capable of reading the rules to my tournament, and he has the gall, he has the gall to raid me. How are you doing, Unholy? Hope you had a good stream. I have to call out Angle. You run your own tournaments, and you can't read the rules of someone else's tournament? What is this? Amateur hour. That's what this is. Amateur hour. Mango and Kushala. How's everyone treating tournament farming while at above stack camp for Monster Rancher 2 Nuzlocke? I'm doing one not allowed to train or air entry. I had to do fights. I've literally just been that. Yeah, I just uh, I rest until the next official. I don't I don't farm tournaments. Okay, so let's get a prediction in. I got way too many windows open. Gaspacho Super Sorry, prediction. Who do you like? E1, E2. Okay. Predictions live. Make your bets. Who do you like? Mongo? Mongo, Mongo, Monkey. Yeah, do you like the Mango or do you like Kushala? Looking like Rusted Kushala. Is it Daura or Deora? Because I've heard both. I don't think they've ever said it out loud. You weren't strong enough to make him a Techno Dragon? Well, your monster did well, so. Okay. What are we looking at? 52 and 48. Mango with a slight lead. The Aura? The aura might be the only incorrect way. The aura. Is that right? The aura. Oh, he went with the, the classic dragon build of just just the basics. And he's gonna get slapped to death. I love Techno Dragon, he's so cool. I don't know why. But ever since I was a kid, he reminded me of, like, a Ninja Turtles enemy. We're on fast forward? We are on fast forward. We'll turn it off after this. Unless you guys think it's okay. Fast forward is pretty fast. Mango wins in fast forward. That's a win for Mango. That's a win for Mango, unfortunately. Rather not fast forward. I don't want it either. Uh, not that lucky. And Mojo with another stupid, unpronounceable name. That's what he does. He makes good monsters, though. Your guy lost because of fast forward. <laughs> That's okay. Nick Ribcage will... Uh... Just want to make sure that was the right one, right? Yeah. The fast forward in the name format is truly a Kujira experience, I know. People are still going to mess it up. Well, the good thing about Mojo names is that I can just type that in and we're good. We got another dragon? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, Fast forward off. Okay, we're doing a prediction. It is a power mochi and a power dragon. They're pretty basic builds. Sorry, you don't get to see it. How do you pronounce that dragon's name? I'm pronouncing it Dragon. It's Deora is how I pronounce it. Everyone in chat seems to think Daora. But I'm going to go with Deora. You're going off no sleep when you registered? Damn. Man's going off no sleep. Man's crying about no sleep to the guy who works 60 hour weeks and then comes home and streams. No sleep, eh? Pools. What do we got? 
47 on the mochi, okay. <laughs> Fro Warbler Mangrove. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's pretty close. Already knocked out this dragon of Nutrition Cup this week? You gotta fight him again? Oh, no. Yeah, I've been working 60 hour weeks as well. Okay, you got an excuse then. The Giant Press Miss? Giant Press is such a fucker move because it's awful, but you kind of need to go for it with Mochi because Mochi has nothing else. The Trample at 99, what you gonna do? I lied, by the way. It wasn't a standard power build. It was a tank mochi build. Dragon smooshes him. It's the big smoosh. Game one goes to the mochi. Goes for the slap. Misses two in a row. Dragon in a good spot. A little bit of damage to the bite. Actually, that wasn't too bad. Guts Correction helping him out there. Damn trample with guts correction in his favor. Doesn't matter if you're a tank or not. That crit's still gonna hurt. 999 damage. Pretty rough opponent for a tank. Pretty rough opponent for a tank. To be fair, uh, when you are the worst monster, everything is a losing matchup though. Tongue slapping and Mangdonald. Old Mangdonald had a farm. It's tunge slapping, not even tongue. Damn, we really are dealing with the dregs of literacy here, eh? You people. You people and your tunges. Do all your tunges not work properly and that's why you can't speak or read? Mangdonald. Mangdonald is a great name, though. Does Guts Correction calculate based on when a move was executed? Or when the move calculates damage? When the move was executed. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So. Interesting. Prediction is live. Who do you like? I haven't updated channel points rewards in quite some time. I have some really funny ideas, a bunch of stuff that's like half made, but I just, it hasn't been the focus because I'm still trying to get these rancher rundowns out and stuff, right? And I'm super late on the one I'm working on right now. It's been hard. It sucks now that I'm actually back to work, you know? Of course, Hunter is the Joker. Oh, well, my uh, my s predictions broke. Prediction machine broke. Um, so I can't see what the odds are. But here we go. Oh, 64 on the Joker. 36 on Town Slapping. Wait for channel point stuff until you're less busy. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. Clown of an entry. Clown of a time. It's not a thing anyone's ever said. You're gonna have a clown of a time. Nobody's ever said that. Everything's missing. 30 seconds left. Half the match is over. Bang Donald's been missing. Tongue Slappin's been slapping, but, you know, to no avail. How many misses? All. It's clowning time. He's about to go clown mode. Watch out. Watch out for his clown mode. There's his clown mode. He gets the punch. The clown punch. Oh. Tongue slap. Gonna miss. Gonna clown on him. A single punch. A single punch wins the day. As it does. One for the clown. You think Swayze would have more accuracy with that big eye? He's got no death perception. That's the problem. He can see in fine detail, but he has no idea how far something away is from him. First rounds for info, no problem. Death punch miss at 48 with anger, pretty good. Oh, there's the bite. That's going to be pretty good damage. 377, gets anger again. Maybe not the time to get anger. I lied, very good time to get anger. Lands the punch, minus 20 guts. Hits it again with anger. Wow, another 21 guts down. So 40 guts total. Take it from town slapping. 
Misses that death smash. And again. McDonald still with a good amount of health. Tone slapping on sitting on spit. Missed the spit. Go for anything? More spit. Oh. Played at 37%? Oh, that's gonna miss though. Town just needs to keep swinging. Dodges that. Need something that's not spit. He goes for spit. Well, he landed a couple of spits at least. Mang Donald gonna win that one. Town slapping out in round one. Next up, we got Hello Nail and Low Trek. Is this the hanger? Yeah. Good hammer fall joke. Anger and Durahan. Purebred Durahan. We've had a bunch of fun sub breeds tonight. Okay. Prediction is live. What do you like? All 2 0s so far. Okay, yeah, here we go. We're we looking at 70% on the hanger. Or well, the rolling slash miss at 40, pretty big. Laser swords would be nice here, <laughs> since you gotta fight a tank, yeah. Maybe. Hits the heavy chop. Hits it again. Four in a row, that's enough. Give him the chops. Misses the twist to slash. Hello nail in a good spot. Does he go for sledge fall to finish it off? Put that nail on the ground. Fake Lives Monster takes game number one. The grid camera for Durahan, it's really fucked up. It doesn't know where to focus. It's a little bit better in uh, Monster Rancher 2, but in DX, it's like especially bad. Ooh, rolling slash opener, how much damage? That's enough on a crit. Six second KO. So anyway, I started chopping. Down with a big chop. Rolling slash opener again. This is that one. The heavy chop. Low kick. Look at the size difference here. Damn. It's the difference between 6 foot and 5'11. Gets the grit, he's still alive, hits the hammer fall. How much damage? 267. Both monsters can win it here. Low kick. Not enough to kill. One more. Oh, does he get it? Three grits in two games? Oh my god. Only snaps at 62. It's going to miss. Hello Nail's gonna win on the grit tie. Or if he attacks again. Comes down to this. Rolling slash 37%. He swings it and misses. Hello Nail is going to win. Barely on the grit tie. Or does he? Yeah, he does. Yeah, that was that was a known thing. That was gonna happen. Okay, so he wins because he has less overall life than his opponent. Slam ducking, slam ducking again, and punch machine. The return of slam ducking. No Gats victory. Well, technically one of them had a Gats victory. Oh, I, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, no. It didn't go to a Gats tie. Punch machine. First time you see a grit tie? No, oh, first time for everything. The tank ducking. Start a prediction. Who do you like? 
lag on your end. I know you said you had lag on your end like two minutes ago. I'm aware <laughs> you're getting lag on your end. It looks okay to me though. What do you like? Do you like the tank ducking? Do you like punch machine? Come on and slam. Here we go. Your predictions looking like? 61 for the duck. This missile opener. Not crazy powerful. Ooh, it's the flutter slap for 157. Goes for it again. And misses. Pushes him back in the slot too. Gonna go for bounce stamp, just as accurate as Flutter Slap. Does way more damage though, and misses. Punch combo. How much damage? Oh, 500 on the crit. Needed the crit to win. Got the crit to win. Duck time. Maybe it's duck time for game two and three. Punch machine do be punching though. Rocket punching even. Anger. Angry duck. We get an angry explosion. Yes. Nah, I didn't do anything. Two in a row. Let's go. That's a kill. 999 damage. Minus 99 guts. You don't see that very often. Slam ducking. And does the thing. He knows. He's a showman. He knows what it takes. You can't do more damage or more withering than that. You're not getting back in the game after that one. Two flutter slaps, punch machine, and a little bit of damage. Goes for the bound. The bound misses. Punch combo and do good damage here. How much are we looking at? Did 500 on a crit last time. 400 there. Got some advantage. Helped him out a little bit. Ooh, crit bound for 250. Punch combo. This will probably kill. Yes, sir. Just barely, but there's the grit from the duck. Got a bunch of accurate attacks. Bound at 68. It hits. Not enough to kill without the crit. But he's a Kanye fan. Goes for bound 2. Misses that one. Hits the flutter slap. And that's going to be it. Slam ducking. Going to take it. Moving on to the next round. Slam ducking. Polka and Holly's up next. Oh, we get, uh, Jilt. We get Jilt and we get a White Suezo. Okay, prediction is live. Having duck for dinner tonight. Brother, he'll explode on you. Watch out. We got another duck coming up next named Ducky O'Duck. Which I assume is a Bucky O'Hare reference, but uh, with ducks. Is Kanye West a Monster Rancher fan? I remember he had a song called Bound 2. Maybe he's a ducking fan too. Maybe you're just making the exact same joke I made. Is that the, the joke there? Is that you made the joke I made with more words? I love it when people do that. Damn, people really like Hollies. They both work out at the library. Ooh, hits a bang, crit bang, that'll do it. Game one goes to Polka. Put your whole ass house on this Swayzo? Well, you're in, uh, you're in trouble now. Game two. Oh, it's the Pats. Tail Assault, not what we're looking. Not looking for power attacks on both sides. Never bet the whole farm. Should only half farm it. Lightning's gonna miss at 66. To be fair, on any given day, this is a pretty bad matchup for Pixie. Lick at 47 is gonna miss. Telkinesis hits. 225 damage, Polka. 
in the yellow does not get power. I don't know if it has power. I assume it has power. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. Kale Assault again. Run down the clock. Well. Oh, push him back in the next slot. Bolt. Going to hit. Good crit there. One attack left. Nobody swings it. Holly's is going to win game number two. Ooh, misses the I beam. Lightning at 66, 301 damage. Hits it again, puts him in the yellow. Always has a bit of a guts lead though. I beam here is probably a kill. Goes for the lick. Lick is not great in this matchup. Bang at 39%. Ooh, dodges that. It's got a shot here. I beam on a 50 50. It lands and it crits, and that's it. Ollie's is going to take that. It was close, though. But Holly's did squeak it out at the end. Ducky, O'Duck, and Deadite. Ooh, the return of Deadite. Oh, oh, one for you for once? Hell yeah. Okay, prediction is live. Make your bets. Not the same build as Slam Duck, and this guy's a speedy duck, but his opponent's got no speed on his side. All defense. Oh, shit. Hey, do you think Kanye West is the Monster Rancher fan? <laughs> There's a song called Bound 2. Maybe he's a Duncan fan, just thought I'd let you know. Thanks for letting me know. And thank you so much for the donio. Blah. For the donio? For the dono. Appreciate that. Very kind of you. I don't know what a donio is, but thank you for that too. Getting tongue tied tonight. I'm not drinking enough water. I'm drinking a lot of water though. Missed the rolling slash. 36%. Ducky O Duck always oh, got falling beak. The man is insane. Goes for Twister Slash, that one misses. Bounce stamp. Good damage. Gets the anger. Another bounce stamp. Looking bad for Deadite. Gets the grit though, he's still in it. See monsters here that you haven't seen before? Well, now you're seeing a whole bunch. It's the rolling slash. Is it enough? It's not enough. Leaves him with 19 life. Ducky O'Duck hanging out. Having a good time. 19 life away from dying, as you do. Who's swinging first, though? They both can attack. Beak thrust. That's going to be it. Squatting on him. The, the tiniest tea bag. Really just want to see a falling beak KO? Well, it's going to hit. Music from the Momba Zoo OST? No, it's not. <laughs> okay, Ducky O Duck, what you got? Peak Thrust, pack. 100 damage even. Flutter Slaps can do like 80, 50. What? Wow, that was a little, very little. Deadite in a uh, pretty good spot here. Triple Slash will kill with this much of a lead. 878. Deadite gets it. That it shield is rated art. Yeah, it's um, the HD really brings out the boobs in it. It's just a harpy sister from uh, from Yu-Gi-Oh. Rolling slash. Wow, what a combo! Goes for it and misses. That's his best Sonic the Hedgehog. And how much damage? 135. I'm bouncing. What are you looking at? I like how like when he stopped, he like T posed away. He's just hanging out over here now. Damn, another rolling slash crits for 800. Deadite is moving on. 
Do you love how crisp the textures are in DX? Too bad, um... Uh... Yeah, I mean, I don't even know if I agree with that. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I think it looks really goofy the way they did it. So Deadite is advancing. We don't have two ducks moving on yet. Won every bet so far? Oh, yeah. Sputnik and Articuno V2. Ooh, Articuno V2 is back. Sputnik's back too? Damn, these are two old boys. But one of them's gotta be Josh Brolin, and one of them's gotta be like, the you know, the good old boy. Only one of them can advance. Red boy, Articuno V2. Here we go. Articuno, oh yeah, was the one with the really low skill. But that's not going to matter here, because his opponent's got no speed. From 50 chips to 2300, like that all in every time. That's usually how I bet. When I bet, it's just all in every time. We got a lot of uh, returning boys here. Wow, 96%. 96% on Articuno. Cross smash, 27%. Swings it. It misses. Love to see Articuno again. Bad matchup for Sputnik. Yeah. Damn, good crit there. Punch at 34. Misses the punch. Damn, he got a foolery trying to do flame cannon. That's the worst case scenario. Also hard for the chips to spam the right sound effect. Yeah. The double beak. There's a birdie pecking. If you got pecked in the crotch like that, you'd uh, you'd be done too. Oh, the double dick kick gets him. Articuno knows what it takes. You picked the wrong monster. Yeah, this is... I don't know. Spotnik's got like a 30% chance to get an instant kill though, so... Goes for it. It hits! Call me Apollo. I can see the future. It's a curse. It's my burden to bear. Flame cannon opener. Two damage on a crit. Minus 40. <laughs> Don't jinx it. I know. I know what it takes. Just like Articuno. Another flame cannon. Articuno doesn't want to play the game, but he doesn't want his opponent to play the game either. Beak. Peck, peck, peck. Charge at 44 is going to land. How much damage are we looking at? 606 on the crit. Charge his most accurate move. A little bit a little bit spooky though. I guess slaps may be more accurate. This might kill. It might kill. Oh my god. 284. Sputnik is going to win that one. 2-1. That's a big payout. That's a big payout. You bet on... I probably wouldn't bet on him, but, you know, to say that a golem is, like, not gonna win, even a tank golem, in this format at least, is pretty spooky. Nostromus and Flix. And Flix. The worm, you guys remember this from the low tier tournament? Flix did pretty well. Did he? I don't actually remember if he did well or not. I just remember him. I remember his existence, not so much, you know, his placement. But sometimes having your existence remembered is enough. In here, if Fujita's comms for that match, he'd be losing his mind.
He got lucky in the vote timed out. You're going all in. It's, uh, you know what? With uh, nothing really on the line, it's hard to get as hype as Fujita gets. I also don't have time to watch the thing ahead of time. Oh, did I pick 1P? Am I controlling Nostromus? No, I'm not. Okay. Wing combo lands. 430. He just stood still. What a fake out. Into the trample at 32? Well, god damn. Damn, what the hell, man? He literally did not move. He did not take a single step forward or backwards. He stood still, dodged the attack, did the wing combo, waited for his opponent to back up, and then did trample. Work smart, not hard, you know? Why put in the effort? Your opponent can do it for you. Just the trample at 33% that time, it's because he was walking forward. Should have learned. Go back to your old ways, Nostromus. It's game three already. Nostromus keeps winning with less stats. Well, that, I mean... Might not after that. Game three. Something something dragon top tier. Another trample at 33%? 700 damage puts his opponent into the yellow procs power. He uh, has to watch out now. Tail Ash misses. Flick still has a lot of guts. He can do something. Bite at 45. That's going to miss as well. Oh my god. Another trample. Dragon loves trample. Monster missed the almost champ. He was almost champ. Misses the bite there. Okay, we got some damage on the board. 250. Nostromus does have low life, like Sard was saying. Uh, he isn't quite at 3500. Slightly below it. Another trample! How are you going to hit trample three or four times at a 30% accuracy rate? Dragons have a hidden luck stat. That's how that works. Nostromus does the thing. Low tier trash and Matt Bourne. Also, I've never explicitly said this, but if you guys, like, see stuff that you like in the events or whatever, and you want to help, like, share the tournament if you think things look hype or whatever, feel free to clip and, like, share links and things like that, because I just don't have time to do it a lot of the time. Like, last time, we had the... the double... what was it? It was the double energy steal in anger, right? The one that Piss Baby did, and everyone was like, oh my god, clip that, that's so sick, oh my god, and then nobody clipped it. Like, it says a lot about society. If you think it looks sick, don't expect someone else to clip it for you. Be the clips you want to see in the world. Nothing noteworthy has ever happened, it's true. You don't know how? There's a, literally a button that says clip it. Bystander syndrome, everyone's got their phones out. Such a shame. That's what turns people into the Joker. That's what turns people into Matt Bourne. 78% on Matt Bourne. Hits the Gust Breath opener. 329. Not clipping hype moments. The Pat. Alt X is the keyboard command. Dust Cloud. At the doggy. Uh oh, doggy's gonna throw dirt in your face. Here's some dirt in your eye. Oh, put some dirt in your eye. Wish you would have clipped that I's 19% hit chance of victory during his debut that made him famous many moons ago. Yeah, me too. I wish you would have clipped that, but you didn't. So, Jesus Christ, that's Matt Bourne. Jesus Christ, bolted in the face three times. He got a 41% gives him the big boom, but misses it. Matt. Born diving press finisher that that would be sick. Completely unnecessary, and also very sick. Let's go for it. How do I keep doing it? How do I keep doing it? I am too good.
game two. Matt Bourne up 1-0. He tried to throw it? No, he just did what I told him to do. He knows what takes... He knows what it takes to make a good match. Joa Cola... Joa Cola, nah. Thank you. Wakulona. I don't know how to pronounce that, but thank you very much for the follow. Give me a pronunciation guide in the chat. Demand a restart of the whole tournament? Totally not because Kushala lost. <laughs> you know, sometimes your monster loses round one. Happens to the best of us. It's got real. Oh, it hits flame while real is active, only does 270 damage. Real is going to give him some big damage there. 407 low tier trash grits, though. Real is definitely worn off. She's got a 40 guts lead. He does diving press to himself. Does 300 damage to himself. You threw it that time, Matt. I never told you to do that. He grits too, though. Five seconds left. Is low tier trash going to finish it here? 70% misses. Unomas? The kick KO? The kick KO? Oh my god. She gets it. That could have been a 2 0. And now we're on game three. Kick him in the jowls. Pat at 58. Misses that one. I want to make a one life one life minimum skill Baku with diving press. Only Baku's low enough skill have an intact covering that slot. Oh no. Well, what are you going to do? Lightning hits. 286 damage. A little bit of damage there. Flame at 33. That's going to land as well. Puts him in the yellow. He's still alive, though. Has a little bit of a guts lead. Two bites. 60%. Low tier trash. Giving Matt Bourne a chance to get back into this. Bang at 33%. That's going to land, though. He grits again. He's got a 60 guts lead, too. Ooh, two bites misses. He can still get the KO here. You know what it's going to take, though, Matt. Not that, but a diving press. Lightning gonna run out the clock or even just get the KO? Lear oh my god. Oh dear, trash is moving on. Man, born down. Go back to the movies, Matt Born. Go back to the movies. Is the word bitch censored in this game? I don't actually know. A lot of weird words are. Ninjamaru and Ivan Ooze. More wormy action. Niji Maru. And. Gaspacho Super Series. Ivan Ooze. Armanot. Did I spell it wrong? Did Selvius not upload their monster? Did I put an L instead of an I? I might have done that. Okay, I put an L instead of an I. I'm big dumb. Okay. The prediction is live. Who do you like? Who do you like? Do you like the worm? Or do you like the gaboo? Got a tank. No, it's ooze. Very good at this. Very good at guessing. Ask Armin. Armin knows. He just joined. Never make a side bet with me. Never make a side bet with me on anything. I'm occasionally wrong. But it's uh it's scary how good I am. Okay. Uh here we go. I have an Uwu's and Nijimaru. Nijimaru. We go rolling chop ninety-nine. It's at 146. A little bit of damage. He is a tanky boy, though. Samurai kick. Accurate move. Doesn't do a lot of damage. Does do a lot of withering, though. Never, never, never. I don't know how much money I've lost. I'm telling you guys. Somersault at 69. Doing almost half of Ivan's health. You'll side bet me. Brother, you just put the house on uh, a Suezo earlier, and we're terrified. Don't be side betting me. Summer Salts is going to get the KO there. He gets the grit, though. He's still in it. 30 guts lead. 
EG has a lot of life and is a tank, so he doesn't have to worry about being instantly KO'd here. But Ivan does have a pretty good damage potential. Chop combo could end it. Samurai kick, not so much. It will stop Niji from getting an attack off, though. We're down to the last hit. Both monsters can attack, and there's the slap. That's going to be it. Ivan Ooze with the long trek back from Grit makes it happen. Even Caterpie versus Java the Hut. Sorta, yeah. Do we get a chop combo this game, though? We didn't see it last game. My favorite move on the Gabu. There we go. Oh, chop and comboing. Gets the splat. Squishes the worm. The worm's still alive, though. Goes for a somersault in immediate retaliation. Misses at 70%, though. That's unfortunate. Rolling chop. Gonna hit him. Put him in the yellow. Need you have power? Hasn't proc'd anger yet, I don't think. Pinch throw at 43%. Oh, gets the suplex. That's a killed man. That man is the most killed, but he's not. He's still alive. He's got the grit. One life left. One life to live. Ooh, doesn't kill Niji. They're both in it. They're both in it. They can both attack. Tail Ash at 69%. Pretty nice percent. He gets it. He gets it. Game three. Here we go. Two grits. <laughs> Kaboo. Why do you get two grits? Why does your mom let you have two grits? Another chop. Two lashes. Why does your mom give you two lashes? Oh, that's because she's a bad mother. Ah, uh, misses the pinch throw. I've been back in this. Is he gonna do anything though? They're just chilling. They're just hanging out. They're doing a dance. Samurai kick. We get rid of some Ninja Mario's guts. Good crit there. Both can attack. Gets the anger. The angry two lashes. Big damage. Niji moving on. Ivan Uwuz gets eliminated round one. You ever get the belt and try to be a little badass kid and say it didn't hurt? No, because my parents never beat me. <laughs> I never got the belt in the first place. <laughs> I'm sorry, Macho. Uh, okay, who's next? Okane Kane Jr. Stormfly. Stormfly? That's a name I haven't heard in, you know, Dog's Age. Got the belt once and tried to pull that? Oh no. Stormfly was in the uh, low rank tournament, or the, the low tier tournament. And I'm pretty sure it was like first overall seeded. Lost in round one. Ran through the bracket. And I don't remember what it ended up, but it was like, it ended up doing extremely well after losing round one. It made the victory run road. Victory road run. Wow. Victory road runner. There's a pun. There you go. There's a pun for your book. The top five dumbest decisions they ever made. Oh my god. They do it different in Virginia. Uh, West Virginia, even. Okay, what are the bets looking like here? 80% on Stormfly. You guys don't like the crab? Oh my god, it's the same crab as the crab that always wins. Claw Assault, 53%. Misses the hidden sting at 69, though. Bite throw at 40? So you got... Ailash at 60, that's going to do good damage. Ooh. Claw Assault, pretty nice. The Claw Assault into Hidden Sting combo is the combo. We've seen it a million times. Claw Pinch miss at 39. Oh, a million bites, that's going to be a KO. 800 damage. Enough for the one-hit KO. Crab doesn't lose this matchup? Normally he doesn't. Nor normally, Armin, I know you're joking, but you're right. Zoom is like a pretty solid up 
upper mid-tier character, the dinosaur I'm talking about. But uh, the crab is like a top tier. <laughs> like top top. Hits the bite. And that's it. Oh, actually, yeah. Dino wins. Can't do much about missing, unfortunately. And he missed everything. Yeah, he's got a combo. Uh, there aren't, like, real combos in this. But uh, he's got a combo. Because after every attack, they move slightly. And so he can start off in one slot, do an attack, and move back into the next slot by the time that other attack ends. That's, like, a guaranteed one-hit kill on, like, every character that isn't, like, a straight-up tank in this format. It's, it's very, very strong. He's got a touch of death. I like 60 60 percent chance to land it. Poncho and my boy Nick Ribcage taking Nick Ribcage out of retirement. Who do you like? Prediction is live. Cosmo is the one two. We do call him the one two. Connie's here. <laughs> he got enough wins. He's done now. That was a two zero for Stormfly. Stormfly is really strong though. Can't atrophy if you don't have muscles. You know, that's true. He's in peak form. He's always in peak form. 60% chance of instantly winning sounds broken. It's, uh, it's pretty good. But the AI has to actually decide to do the thing. And the AI is incredibly dumb. Okay, 60% of my boy? You guys like my boy? Frantic Rush. Oh, where are we starting with? Punch combo opener, 36. Gonna miss there. That would have done a lot of damage. Wing attack at 71, that's going to miss as well. As we all know, wing attack never actually lands. Dragon punch going to miss as well. Nissa up with a guts lead. Goes for double slaps. Hits. 220 damage, 8 withering. Goes for it again. Misses the second one. Nick Ribcage with a very slight guts lead. Misses the punch combo again. Nick Ribcage now with a 40 guts lead. Wing attack sting at 72. Hits that time. Crits for 424. Good damage. Another wing attack. Misses. One for three on 68 or above chance. Double slap's gonna miss at 49. It's gonna happen. Running out of time. Anyone gonna attack? Bite at 62. Misses. Three seconds left. Nick Ribcage can swing. Nissa can swing. Who's gonna swing? Is anyone gonna swing? Frantic Rush lands at the buzzer. Wow. Nissa's gonna win that one. Big Chungus hair. Yeah, no one's ever made that joke before. We actually have a ban on people naming this monster Chungus because it happened so fucking often that it was impossible to, like, figure out who was actually entering the monster. Nissa wins game one. Frantic Rush opener. Misses this time 45%. One, two straight. Misses that as well. 40 guts lead for Nick Ribcage. It's the wing attack. 342 damage. The Tail Whip is going to land as well, 298. Nissa is still in this though. Double Slap is going to do good crit, 288 damage there. Wing Attack at 68, going to miss again. I wasn't joking, that shit always misses. Double Slap at 50, whiff there, both got 40 guts. Who is going to swing? Nissa again hits another Double Slap, 201 damage. Swings a third time, misses that one. The crib cage with a lot of guts saved up. What's he gonna do? He go for a bite at 66. Hits it. 10 seconds left. The crib cage wins game number two. Looks like Big the Cat from Sonic. He really does. If he was purple, yeah. And Jill has your girlfriend's name. Is, is that what your girlfriend looks like? You meant to bet 1k and bet 10k instead. Ooh, good crit from Frantic Rush. Puts him in the green. Double slaps. It's gonna land. Not enough to kill. Bite at 68 hits. 298 damage. And Grave Cage can keep swinging down if he wants. Hits another bite. One more to win it. Both monsters can attack. Swings another bite. Is that gonna be it? Will he get grit? That is it. Three bites to the noggin. Nick Rib Cage wins it. So sassy tonight. I'm just asking questions. I'm not saying anything about his girlfriend. I'm just asking if that's what she looks like. I'm I'm in a mood. I'm ornery after so many people fucked up the 
the forms to send their monsters in in the first place. Gin and Juice and Jam Lord. Oh my god, are we gonna have a gel fight here? You just hit three times in a row? Yeah, at like 50, 66 to like 50% too. Pretty, pretty unlikely, but I'll take it. We got a gel fight. Oh my god. Hell yeah. It's been a while since we've seen Gin and Juice. He's got the, the fucked up hitbox. If you've never watched Monster Rancher before, you never, or you haven't watched uh, a lot of competitive play, you probably haven't seen Gin and Juice. And Gin and Juice is not only a fantastic monster in the first place, but he is, um, he's, he's got a move that is broken. And not like broken good or broken bad, but broken um, visually. You'll, you'll see it. You'll see it. The move does not look the way it's supposed to look. Lots of welcome cup homies in this bracket? Yeah. So yeah, we got the pink jam. Put your pink jams in chat if you, uh, you're a fan of the pink jam. But for me, I'm more of a toe jam man. Brow smash 36% misses that one. Three cubes. You have three minutes to move your cubes. Goes for it again. No cubes. Is move order on every interaction determined by RNG? Like, does the speed stat just skew the percentage one way or another? Basically, yes. So it hits the brow hit. Uh, I'll try to explain it a little bit more. Let's see what's going on. So every move have, has its own accuracy rating. Some do more damage, but are more accurate. Some do a lot of damage and are very accurate at the same time, but cost a lot. Uh, your guts is a resource at the bottom of the bar that you'll see slowly filling over time. Um, gin and Juice, for example, here. Brow Smash, 36% chance to hit. Cost 28 guts. You start the game with 50. There's the big kick! Oh my god. Non-Euclidean kick. Hits the pierce for 52%. Big damage there. Two in a row? That'll be it. Stab him. Where is feet supposed to be? We've been saying cheese. And I don't know what they're supposed to be, so I'm also just saying cheese. Closest thing you got. <laughs> it's the Mountain Dew, you know? I'll accept the Mountain Dew. Two whips? Two whips is a great move. Good accuracy. So yeah, Armin and anyone else who's new to Monster Rancher, this is not really like Pokemon. Like, if your move has 100% chance to hit, that shit is broken. Um... Most moves hover between like 35 and 60% chance. But because it's an action game, uh, swinging a 50% move a bunch of times in a row is pretty good. As you can see, they can attack multiple times in a row. Jam Lord's going to take that one. 2 1. Just took some stabs. He just got really bad gout from all the gin. Yeah, that might be it too. Bogwater and Nakanaria. Ooh, so we got another. Another gel coming up. Bogwater's fun. Because uh, he does not have Whip. I think Whip is a very, very good move, but this is a really interesting build. Nakanaria. Expand cheese. That's right, knocking area is the pixie. That's right. It's nice seeing all the old faces again. Okay, predictions live. Who do you like? Phase overall looks satisfying. Uh, Armin, when the new game comes out, you should play it. I think you'd really like it. They did a... Um, the new game I'm talking about is a Monster Rancher uh, crossover collaboration with Ultraman. So all the old 1960s kaiju from Ultraman are like the monsters you raise. But other than that, it looks almost identical to this game I'm playing right now. And uh, it, it looks really goofy and really fun. But basically all of the work is done before the tournament happens. And then you kind of just let your AI monster out into the world. And you kind of have to hope they just do the right thing at the right time. So excited for UKMR. Love Ultraman. Yeah, I don't know a lot about Ultraman, but it does look fun. Hits the Pierce. 
the kick is gonna miss. Lightning miss. Two in a row at 60, gonna miss. We've got three cubes, but well, we're just gonna stab. We're just in a stabby mood. More stabs, that one's gonna whiff as well. Lightning finally gets a landed hit, 257. Bogwater down to about two thirds health. What's he gonna do? Three cubes, doesn't need to do three cubes. It's out of the way. Ultraman 66 is so silly and campy, it fits in right right in with Monster Rancher. I'd like to see some uh, Ultraman stuff. If you have Rex, hit me up in the Discord, because I would like to know where to start. Monster Rancher, I feel, is campy, but like not on purpose, right? Whereas Ultraman has a very, from what I've seen, is very like product of its time, where everything in the 60s that was like superhero related was uh, just over the top because, you know, it's they're trying to bring like comic books to life. And uh, all the monster movies at the time were the same sort of thing. This game is very goofy, but like, I think somewhat unintentionally. We're gonna have a poster kaiju's channel in the UK <laughs> MR drops? Yeah. Oh my god, Bogwater gets the KO. Wait, sorry, who won game one? Bogwater won game one, right? I know it was close. Somebody tell me. Is that a 2 1? It was always oh, 1 1. Oh, the Pixie won at the last second? Yep. Extreme short memory lost. Bang at 38. Misses at that time. Three cubes at 46. Gonna miss that again. Flame at 33. Ooh. Two in a row. Bogwater with the 60 guts lead. He's gonna do so much damage here. Hits the pierce. 400 damage. This is the second one. Lightning with a small guts lead, same amount of damage as it did last time. Bogwater down to about two thirds health. Knocking area at about one thirds health. There are actually quite a few serious Ultraman episodes, especially from the Ultra Seven. Well, I would assume it's not completely camp. It's always nice to change the tone up occasionally, you know. Like, uh, like One Punch Man is like that. There's a couple of episodes in One Punch Man that are like very serious, but for the most part, you know, there's no actual stakes. There's the Pat. That's not going to do anything. Bogwater is going to win it. Wins 2-1. And now we have one more match in our round one. We got Meow in that 90s look. How do you guys feel about that 90s show coming out? Most of you are old millennials like me. Meow. Nice to see Meow again. That's 90s. 90s show, meh. I mean, I'll watch it. Don't watch a lot of regular TV anymore. Me neither, for the most part. Okay. So that went to Boggy. Boggy Boy. Prediction is live. Who do you like? Sonic Hedgehog. You're late again, you are late again. I'll wait for that 2000 show to come out. That shit would be... Oh, my God. We were talking about this earlier, because when we were playing uh, Mon Bazoo the other day, about how that game takes place in 2005, and it has the most 2005 aesthetic, which is um, a, an aesthetic of like just existing, nothing else going on. Don't remember this thing set? Me neither. It's been a while since we've seen Meow. But it's your boy, so you would hope you knew. The show on Paramount Plus that's about the creation of the Godfather it looks pretty good. <laughs> but you gotta buy Paramount Plus. <laughs> oh my god, all these streaming services. Cable 2. Oh, it's just, it's the moose build. Kiss at 36 misses. Twiddling 2, I'm telling you guys, Twiddling 2 is the jam. Such a fun tech. I'm definitely biased. I don't actually know if it's that good, but it always works for me. You know? So, if it always works, then it always works. That's the leaping kick. 
Her smartphone came out in 2006, everything before that hits different, yeah. I-beam lands! Oh, good crit there to that 90s look, hanging in. The risk of twiddling 2 is getting the crit or not getting the crit. Like, yeah, sure, it's inaccurate. Oh my god, hits it again. It gets real and power. Power twiddling at 48 is gonna land. 999 damage, you can't tank that with real. Oh my god. God, even through real, it still did max damage. Dad gets every streaming service, which means yeah, through association. Hell yeah. Share those passwords. Game three. He's 2 0 on Twiddling 2. Twiddling 2 0. Yes, and went the head assault. 361 damage. That 90s look down to half health. Twiddling 2. I lied. It's gonna miss there. It would have killed though, so that was a good play. Telekinesis in the 70s goes for a lick instead. Ooh, wow, that did a lot of damage into the telekinesis. The telekinesis is going to miss, though. That's, that 90s look still has 40 guts, though. What's he going to do? Got a lot of attacks. Not many of them are very accurate. Kiss at 41. It's going to miss again. Give Meow a chance to get back into this. Head Assault probably won't kill without a crit. Goes for another kiss. That one lands. How much damage are we looking at? Crits for 377. That's going to be it. That's gonna be it. Don't use up all the Mew luck. I don't think you have to worry about that. 2-1. Yao gets a win, but he gets crit to death. As he, as one does. Okay, who's up next? That is it for round one. We are now into top 32. So let's take a look real quick. I'm gonna go get some water after this, and then uh, we'll be back. So, before we take a quick break, we got... 16 monsters who advanced from last round and we got 16 brand new guys so let's take a look we got chimpanzee i hate every ape i see chimpanzee to chimpanzee so we got a ape battle up here we got sally bones another mew versus the dragon dehumanized i don't remember what this is versus mcdonald nolan owen nolan nolan ryan I don't know. Those are the two Nolans I know. There's the Hello Nail, who is the Hanger. Oakville. This is just... Just Oakville. Is this the Automaton? I forget. There's the Slam Duckin', the Big Boomin' Duck. Mallow versus the other White Swayzo. Hollies. Ment Legend. I don't know who this is. Versus Deadite. That is the, the Genocider we saw earlier. Spittoon is new. Versus Sputnik the Golem. Ray William Johnson, who I vaguely remember. Is this a, a monol? I think it is. Against uh, Nostromus the Dragon. Sir Trashcan. Kelowna can't figure it out either. Kelowna. Put the brackets in. Trying to be different. Versus Low Tier Trash, which is the Pixie we saw earlier. Miss Muter, another uh, Mew. Versus Niji, the Worm we saw earlier. UFK, new monster. Versus Stormfly, the Zoom. Tiggs versus Nick Ribcage. Oh, I gotta fight Tiggs? Maybe I can get some uh, revenge for the last one. Ultima versus Jam Lord, the Jam. Uh, Kick Boss is a hare, the, the wild hare versus Bogwater. So we got two worm subbreeds here. And then Turnabout is a. Turnabout is the Naga, right? The slow guts rate Naga. And that 90s look. Ray William Johnson was two levels above everything in terms of class and culture. Ray William Johnson was um, what happens if uh, Billy Joe Armstrong had no musical talent and decided to buy a, a webcam. Anyway, uh, let's let's take a quick break and I'll be right back.
And we're back. Welcome back. We got Chimpanzee versus Mango up first. We got a monkey fight. A monkey melee, if you will. Chimpanzee and Mango. So many monsters named Mango. But we all know it's Aaron. Okay. Prediction is live. Oh, wait. Who won that last one? 90s look. 90s look won the last one. Monstrous Monkey Massacre Monday. It's Friday, Macho. I know you're trying. I appreciate the help. I appreciate the effort. Who do you like? Pizza and Klonoa. The, the new Klonoa game came out today, right? The game they announced and then did no advertising for at all. It reminds me a lot of um, the Koei Tecmo Discord. Because there's like the, the Monster Rancher Discord, which is an unofficial one. That's where the community congregates. And then there's Mayan, which is like the de facto second biggest. English language, Monster Rancher Discord, and then there is the Koei Tecmo Discord where they talk about announcements and stuff, but they never actually do. So uh, Fenric always posts in there when there's Monster Rancher news, so he's like doing their social media for them, which is very nice because I know their social media guy now, and uh, he seems extremely overworked. It's not Monday anywhere. That's, you know, you make a good point. Love to hear Jeremy Irons commentate on this fight. I'd, uh, I'd be a fan of, um, what's his name? Oh my god, I can't believe I don't remember his name. Uh, Attenborough. I'm not going to do an Attenborough impression. That'd be embarrassing, but. Monster Rancher Channel? Yeah. Come through his phone and beat you up? Oh no. What? The blast for six hundo? It gives him power though. The blast gave him power. He accidentally activated monkey mode. You gotta watch out now, Chimp NA. He's not monkeying around anymore. Nah. Uh, maybe he is now. Another blast misses that one. Hits him with the thwack. Big damage. Mango's in the lead and has a guts lead. It's anger though. 81%, maybe a bad time to get anger. There's a slap, that's gonna finish this off. 233 damage, Mango wins it. Sir David Attenborough. How is he still so good at what he does? Man is like 400 years old. Good for him. I think we should all strive to be as good at something as he is at narrating. I have fully turned off Nature documentaries that looked pretty cool because it wasn't him narrating. I'd love to see Scott McNeil commentate a match between monsters he voiced in the anime, like Naga versus Suezo or Gali. Hmm. We'll get some of the Gali finale. Oh, Champion is gonna win that one. The Vincent Price voice for Gali is so funny. There's no reason to do that. He's about the same age as the Queen? Why does he look like 40 years younger then? Big banana. I'm a big smoosh, but Mango's still alive. Has a huge guts lead. Real power. We saw what happened last time. Slap's gonna miss. Will real wear off? Real should wear off first. Okay, so they both wear off around the same time. Mango, this will kill. This will do 800 damage on the crit. Oh my god. Prehistor I still haven't watched Prehistoric Planet. Mango's gonna win it. That was a bad time to get real. Big Bong Monkey. Who's up next? Sally Bones and the Dragon Who Shall Not Be Named.
I think last time he came up with a name that sounded like uh, Welsh and had uh, it was completely unpronounceable. We all made fun of it. He took it as a challenge to make a worse name, and he succeeded. Is that the one where people complain they feminized the T-Rex by giving it a narrower snout? You know. That sounds like the internet. Wales does have a dragon on its flag, so it fits. That's pretty funny. I, I, I really hope that's a thing people argued about. Drew Welfredith. Yes, there's something like that. We, we called him Griff. That shit sounded Welsh, too. Scratch at 61. Ooh, good damage there. Dragon gets Anger immediately, though. Oh, the Twiddling miss on Anger? That's unfortunate. Dragon with the 80 Guts lead. Trample on a 50-50. It will kill if it lands, but it's gonna miss. Does he do two in a row? It does go for two in a row. Two in a row are gonna miss. People are mad that T-Rex was shown doing anything other than killing other dinosaurs. That's what he does for fun. How many tanks made it to round two? Deadite and the Worm? Yeah, but there might be some that got a buy. No, uh, uh, Slam Duncan did as well. Just ask someone with their Welsh dad what it means. And they said it was made up, yeah. Yeah, he said it was a uh, portmanteau of a bunch of other words. Sputnik too. Oh, Sputnik did as well. That's right. Oh, almost the exact same opening as last time. Trample's going to land this time, though. That's going to be spooky. 999 damage. That's all it takes. Dragon with the 2-0. That was a 2-0, right? I'm not going crazy? I might be going crazy. I'm reading all this Welsh talk. I'm getting confused. I'm pretty sure that's 2-0. 1-1? One, one? Was it really 1-1? One, one? Fuck. I saw a dragon hit last game, and I was like, oh, that must be it. Thank you guys for actually paying attention. Tail Whip lands. 59. Dingle Dingle Durgan. Ooh. Scratch? Oh wow, into the scratch? Is that it? Yurg's still in it. How's it going? We're doing well. Uh, your boy's out, unfortunately. But we're doing well. You put on quite the show. You put on quite the show. Which is more or less all you can ask. Sally Bone is gonna win it. Dehumanized and McDonald up next. You saw Matt Born die. Oh, this is the plant, the hair plant. That's right. I remember this. Mang, Mangdo. Okay. Who do you like? People really liked the cat on that one. People are starting to believe in the power of Mew. We got a tank. 500 defense, 999 life, 900 power, 900 skill, or 1,000 power, 1,000 skill. Interesting. We'll see how this plays out. If this was just a regular plant, uh, the withering that Joker has probably wouldn't be very useful at all, but because it is a slower guts rate plant, it might uh, come in a little bit more handy than it would otherwise. Plant combo is going to miss at 37, so McDonald has a good guts lead to begin with. Root attack is going to miss as well, so McDonald now has a 50 guts lead. Dehumanizes a wild name. It really is. It really is. 
Think you and your plant might be in trouble? Maybe. You have power or anger? I mean, it might not matter, but, you know, just asking. Inquiring minds and all that. It's a slap crits for 156. That smash? It's not enough to kill him, though. Human Eye's still in it. I haven't seen a single battle special from him. It's hit with another death punch. That's gonna be it. McDonald wins game one. Just punch his way to victory. Base drill opener. Ooh, very different game than the last game already. Anger, since it's been so long since the low tier. Yeah, it has been quite a while. It's good to be back doing tournaments again. 84 damage, let's go. Big damage. Death punch. Not getting angry. Gotta get angry. Angry. Dab for a little bit. The human eye still hanging in there. Face roll will end it. Couple of jabs will as well. That smash gonna land, put him in the yellow. 11 guts down. Face roll 61. Ooh, that's going to miss. Hang Donald with a little bit of a lead here. It's the jab. That smash lands. Puts McDonald on the front foot. Both have enough guts to attack. Who's going to swing next? Death punch. That's going to be it. He humanized. Tried. Face nature too high, probably. What do you think it'd be like if your ears were also your hands? Oh, no. Oh, no. That's my, my worst nightmare. Nolan and Hello Nail up next. Nolan and hello, Nolan. Oh, we got an Ultra Arl. Okay. Predictions live. Who do you like? It's the Batman guy. It is the Batman guy. We have Kaiju at home. I need to get the Q-tip. My arms are gunked up. It would be gross because you wouldn't be able to, like, get earwax out, right? Because you would have to, like, use your other ear to get earwax out. So you would need help with that. It's like when you have, like, something sticky on one hand and you pull it off and get stuck to your other hand. You pull it off. Unfortunate. Okay, we got Ultraman. Misses the kick. Ooh, I'm gonna miss the punch as well. I always thought Ultra was supposed to look like an eyeball. Ooh, missed the combo hits. Probably uses his roots. He uses his feet to get stuff out of his ears. Gross. Ugh. Nolan's going to win game one. The hook lands. Just send hooked. It's what works. Gets the vigor, flexes on him. Gets punched right in the face in retaliation. Ooh, miss the combo. Misses on the coin flip. Hello, Nail's got a shot here. This is the punch. Gets pushed back. Sledge fall at 47, that's gonna whiff as well. Nolan goes for the magic punch, that's gonna miss. Hello, Nail has some plays he can make. Heavy chop is a good one, misses at 58% though. It's the heavy chop that time, 311 damage, gets power, doesn't really need power here. Does mean that he can win with a basic. Gets heavy chopped again though. Flex on me twice in one game, no siree. Nuh uh. No way, not happening that way. He does it. Game three. Hook, three for three on hook, puts him in the yellow once again. No power proc. 
once again. Oh my god, four for four, but there's the grit. I cannot believe it. Send Danhausen. We need Danhausen. Where is it? Dan Horson. It's been a while since we've seen Dan Horson. I think that was Dimitri's monster. The double glow kick? Oh my god. You may land four for four hooks, but you need to finish off your prey. You can't just play with them. The hanger wins it. Oakville and Slam Duckin up next. Okay. Uh, Slam Duckin, come on and slam. Welcome to the duck. Hanger has a good guts, guts rate? Blah, blah, blah. Hanger has a good guts rate. He does. It's the best you can get on him. The best a man can get. Or best a robo-man can get. Predictions live. Who do you like? First Monster Rancher 3, Monster was a hanger because you never got one in Monster Rancher 2, and he's busted in Monster Rancher 3. He's very good. Oh yeah, I guess that's a reminder. Next week, we're having a Monster Rancher 3 tournament on Wednesday. Pretty exciting. First one that's happened in like 20 years. If you're interested, rules are on my Discord if you want to enter something late. We got six monsters right now, I think. We have a six monster round robin. We have more, we'll just add them into the round robin. Hangers are a chore and a half to unlock in that game. Uh, you can actually uh, skip the unlock conditions completely for Hanger. How do you get other monsters in 3? There is a save file that we have that just has everything unlocked on it. And you can either play on that save file or you can use, oops, or you can use the encyclopedia, copy over whatever monsters you want. Which is what I did. I made a new save file to play for myself, but I also just uh, I also just copied over the the ponchos that I wanted and like Swayzo and stuff like that. Okay, so game one goes to Oakville. Yeah, so you can uh, skip the hangar unlock condition by uh, having a gangster, which is the, um, what's it called? So, okay, I guess I gotta re rewind even further. Subbreeds are unlocked in Monster Rancher 1, so you can have anything with a special subbreed. There's not a lot of them. I think it's literally only... Uh, gangster, which is Magic Hanger. I don't think anything else has a Hanger subbreed. Nothing else has a Dragon subbreed. Anything like that. Thought they fixed that glitch. Uh, maybe they did. Um, but I know what's his name. Stardust just put up a Let's Play of him doing it as well. So maybe it. Uh, I don't know if it's still there or not. I don't know. That was kind of a dumb glitch to uh, patch out. All the fun stuff gets patched out. I wish people would stop talking to Koei Tecmo and say, this is broken. Like, no, that shit's cool. Having your name attached to a glitch because you want to be, like, known for something in, in the scene is toxic. Because you're going to get all the fun stuff removed. Mallow. Who does Mallow belong to? Magnet. And Hollies. I hate that they fixed Ease. Well, I mean, Ease being fixed makes sense. Ease has a downside now. We got. Oh, fuck. Most in Poratoka? Okay. Predictions live. Who do you like? Snitches get stitches. Hollies is such a great build. 
it's uh, it's pretty solid. They go to their way to fix that glitch. Can't give us spaces and names. They can't give us spaces and names. They can't check for cheaters. They'll they'll fix the fun stuff though. How this happened? I don't know. I don't know how this happened. But it's an intelligence mochi though. That's rare. Um, I assume. Well, all white mochis have nice flame. Catch Blanco, Nino. Got the white child, the white boy. Okay, we got uh, sixty percent on Hollies. Flame and lick. Does he have anything else? Does he have mochi ray or anything? Just for licking, misses it. For a big smooch. Ah, uh, he didn't like that. Not like that. At least he can get spaces with slated mons. That's so silly, though. Like, I don't know. But you can't even search for them because. If there's a space, it messes up. Looks like he's recoiling from seeing a butterfly. It's very weird that they changed that. Shrimp miss is not following. Thank you for the follow. So this used to be a paintbrush that he was painting himself with. And, uh, I don't know, I guess... White face is a thing that they have issues with. They have issues with uh, white face specifically. So they, uh, in a rare move, to be nice to white people, you know, society's had them down too long. They decided to uh, remove the paintbrush. White on white crime. <laughs> it's white on white crime. You don't see the statistics for this in the newspaper. Like, since you made it so you can add a space in the monster names with the AV, true, but if you go search for them online, the space becomes removed. Are they kept reggae plant? I think it to teach kids to coat themselves in toxic paint, obviously. That's the real issue here. Who's going to skip tongue when getting kissed on White Swayzo? He's too smart. Oh, skip lick. Yeah, I mean, you can just go uh, with 3%. Priority skip that way. Holly's in a good spot. Oh, he does have Mochi, right? Either way, Holly's is gonna 2-0 that. Imagine being in slot 4. Imagine. Intelligence Mochi is a fun build, but it is extremely rough. They have a point, you've been in the community long enough, lead paint explains a lot of things. You know, speaking facts. You knew what you were in for, you knew what you were in for. Ment, Legend, and Deadite next. Is it, oh, it's Mental Jin. Instead of Gentleman. Intelligence Mochi is unreliable. It is extremely weak. It's a it's a very very weak build. You need to get Flame to connect Frame One and like get a KO. That's basically your only hope. Because you only have good attacks in slot four. Uh, you have nothing covering up Slap in slot one, and Headbutt is covered up by Lick, which is a move that is only marginally better than using Headbutt in the first place. Even if you have no power. Lick is just, like, aggressively bad. Lick is a contender for worst tech in the game by, like, a long shot. It's up there with, like, Niton Inc. And at least Niton Inc. has, like, two hit. Licking is, like, minus 13 or something stupid like that. I don't remember, but it's obscene. Also been told that using AV name change to set a monster's name to a single space breaks the game. Oh, interesting. That's something you've got to work on. Like, as in, like, not allowing someone to do that. Yeah, because the, in the original game, you couldn't make your name just a space. You needed to have something in there. You could put a space before a character, but you couldn't have space as your only thing. Okay, here we go. 76% on Mental Gin. It's the Brow Smash. Big damage there. Angry already. Do you think the pink on the back of Deadite's head is, like, supposed to be tendons and stuff, and muscles, or do you think it's, like, a babushka? Oh, 
Oh. Handsome. Seem to do his fabric. Wave check. <laughs> he got wave checked pretty hard there. It's an Ash Ketchum reference. It must be. He's got that spirit Halloween mask. Yeah. He got it from the clearance rack. Can't handle the motion of the ocean. It's too much for him. Bro, imagine if someone had waves like that, where it was like all wavy, and then it came to like a flat spot on the back. It was nasty. Ugh. Damn. Dad, I can't land anything. He's in trouble here. This is... I'm gonna be extremely surprised if he wins this. I'd bet like a billion dollars on the loss here. And Mental Jin takes it. Okay, so that's a win for the Golem. Uh, Spittoon and Sputnik. We got a lot of spit going on. Spit. Bajarl. Ah, oh, that makes sense. That's a good name. Feel bad for Deadite, not even a kid. <laughs> like someone threw a rock in a puddle? Exactly. It's rippling, but it's rippling from a specific source. Okay. Predictions live. Who do you like? Spittoon and Sputnik. Not a Bajarl. You're gonna get hooked. You already know. The anti tank menace. No one is Bajaral. Ninety percent on Spittoon. Well, he's got a hook. He's got the big boys. Brow Smash opener, it's his only hope. He goes for it. Save me, Obi-Wan. Mystic combo opener. How much are we looking at? 321 Sputnik hanging out. There's the hook. Puts him down to the yellow. Charge at 45 is going to miss. You missed Dan Horson? It's, uh, he hasn't been in a tournament in quite a while. I'll talk to Dimitri, see if I can get him to enter him again. Oh, the kick at 30. How much? 354 gives him the boot. Gives him fury though, that's, you know, GG's. That's what that is. Never mind, the charge lands? I lied, it was GG's, but not for you. Call an ambulance. I said GG, but really it was BG. Sputnik takes game one. I saw that fury and I was like, there's no way Sputnik's winning this, and then he won it. So, what do you know? Bro, I hit miss at 35. Splatoon with a pretty good guts lead. The charge is gonna miss it as well. There's going to be a lot of damage. A lot of damage. He can do two attacks back to back. 574 procs anger. He needed to proc anger there. Hook. That KO. Not quite. 11 guts down. But Sputnik is still in this. He just needs a big hit. He can't really do anything else. He just needs to swing big. Slap is not the play. Even if it landed. Wouldn't have done it. Left jab. Wow. Now he's just. That's just BM. It's like. I remember what you did last game. I haven't forgotten. I'm going to get you with a little pop, pop. The two pops, and you're done. Brow Smash still sitting at 26%. Still spooky. Misses, though. Charge miss at 38%. Mystic combo. 400 damage. Lot of withering. Straight. Straight's pretty powerful as well. It's no hook, though. So Sputnik just tanking the hits, trying to build up enough guts to swing on his own. Punch. Pretty inaccurate, pretty weak even if it does land. Cross smash 24 comes down to this, he misses that, and I think that's it. Another mystic combo, hits it. 
I like how Mystic Combo is just the same as 1-2 Uppercut, except it has a different camera angle and some uh, particle effects. There's a lot of that on Bajaro. Bajaro was rushed at the end of the game's life, and it shows. 1-2 Uppercut, 1-2 Smash are basically the same move as well. Very, very slightly different. Ray, Will, Johns, and uh, Nostromus up next. Had you sweating? Had to go to sleep? Hey, well, thanks for tuning in. Do appreciate it. Oh, yeah, that's right, the intelligence model. Okay, predictions live. Who do you like? Like Nostromus a lot? He's a good monster. He is a good boy. Okay. Who did you guys vote for on this? Wow. What the fuck? Why is it so one-sided? That's that recency bias. You guys saw a mono win the whole tournament at the official, and you're like, this can't be beat. There's a completely different build, though. There's a slamming down that misses Ray Wilt. John, with a great guts lead now, can do some big damage. Hits the Screech, 88% chance to hit two in a row. Not enough to kill. But uh, Nostromus is in trouble. The model not be co being covered in Watchmen pages is disappointing. <laughs> you know, you gotta think about things like that when you think about your name. How old is Nostromus? I think he's fully sized. I think he's a full boy. Also, will that kill? It does kill. I just think the wall is neat. What is it with you and walls? I just think they're neat. Dragon wins game number one. Maybe he isn't fully sized. He might be. Dragon's not actually that big. Has Nostromus missed a trample today? Uh, yes. No? Maybe. I don't know. Can you repeat the question? Hits the flattening? That's not what he wants. Not what any of us want. Monos is pretty big, yeah. He's just very thin. Trample a go. This is the trample again. Sound wave. Wow, the crit sound wave, that's gonna finish him off. Ray Will John takes game number two. As we mentioned before, Nostromus is actually a little bit under the cap. He continually performs very well, though. Something, something, top tier, something, something. Scratch hits. A bit of damage. Proxy Anger immediately, though. Worst case scenario. So, you might be wondering why a Monal, an Intelligence Monal, has Scratch. And the reason an Intelligence Monal has Scratch is that he has no Intelligence text in slot 2. And Scratch, while kind of not a great tech, does a shit ton of withering for what it costs. Um, so it's, I started picking it up on intelligence model and then other people did as well. I'm kind of a pioneer. I don't know if you guys know this or not. Sir trash can and low tier trash up next. Damn, we got a trash battle. We got a couple of, uh, faded fights here. Yeah, let me look for Kelowna. It's got a space. It doesn't in the... Okay. It's not what you wrote down, Kelowna. Either way, we figured it out. It's all good. We got a trash battle. 
giant enemy trash. Yeah, uh, Scratch does a lot of withering. It's fairly cheap. It's not going to cost you games if you use it. I mean, if it's the only thing your monster uses, it will cost you games, but it's better than flattening. The crib cage is fighting Tigs. Yes, he is. He is indeed. Next time my cameras. Nah, it's it's just my my preview looks like it's running at 30 FPS. Okay, here we go. 69 on the pixie. Roll assault miss frame one. I mean, I like it. I like the play. Many kicks in a row. He's got guard. Oh my god. Proc guard just like that? Crash can doesn't care. Gets pushed back. Well, guard ended. Just in time for low tier trash to throw flame at it. Now it's got anger. It's feeling all the emotions. It's feeling anger. It's feeling guard. Did, I suppose. The double claw assault? It's power. Power lightning. Gonna do 444 damage. Both got 50 guts. Both monsters can attack. Who's swinging first, though? Flame at 99 is going to land. Do we see a grit, though? We saw guard. We did not see grit, though. Low tier trash with game one. Flame opener again, 300 damage. No anger this time. No roll assault this time. Goes for claw assault instead. He's all about the assaulting, you know? Hit with the kick. One more could proc a guard. And misses. Igaray. Good damage there. Still alive. Still in it. Uh, does he grit though? He does not grit. Low tier trash. And a blaster way into the next round. 70% of you thought she was going to win that. Didn't get hit at all that game. Miss Muter and Niji up next. Fight looks like something out of Elden Ring. <laughs> she trash on my can till I call her sir. Macho, I swear to Christ. None of those words are in the Bible. Okay, predictions live. Who do you like? Okay, 69% of you like in Miss Muter here. Oh, the rushing punch, big damage there. Pinch throw at 49%? Is that enough? Oh, it is, but there's the grit. God, it's so sorry if someone already said, is there a new tweet from the line page? Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Message from the devs. What are they talking about? Who hits the leaping kick? This meter is going to take that with the grit comeback. Also, I'm just filling out this stuff. Um, I got a little bit behind on my bracket updating. Spittoon beat Sputnik. And Ray Will John beat Nostromus, correct? Correct? I can always watch it back, but, you know, if someone can help me out, that'd be better. Somersault's doing big damage. 
76% to do so as well. He still needs work, but they are working hard. Oh, that's nice. Niji is going to take game two. Twiddling two. Good opener. 332 damage. Just needs to dodge something and Miss Meter's in a good spot. Inch throw again. That's it. Niji gets the win. Tank Worm. Too strong. Also address the whole no new console game thing and basically say they wanted to and hope Line is a catalyst. Nostromus won. Did Nostromus win? Nostromus might have won. 2 1 for Niji. Somebody somebody watch the Nostromus Ray Will John fight back and let me know. You have K and Stormfly up next. I'm more of a UHF fan myself. So we still got a worm in the fight, you know? Okay, before we get too far into it, I know this is asking a lot from a bunch of people who said they wanted to clip it and then didn't bother clipping anything, but I need someone to help me out here. I need someone to go back and check to see if Nostromus or Ray Will John actually won. Because I know they both won one game, but I don't know who actually won the set. Uh, yeah, prediction for this is live. Who do you like? Nostromus did win, right? Yeah. You're checking? Okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure Nostromus won. Stormfly fighting a tank? You know, dreams come true. 56%? Only 56% on Stormfly to beat the tank. Fire charge opener. 178 damage. Nostromus won. Thank you. Unidentified Flying Knight. I get it. Angry Rolling Slash. Misses. No crits on those high crit chance moves from Stormfly. But still doing big damage. Million stabs at 60. Ooh, big damage there as well. Both down to half health. Stormfly really wants that crit bad though. Fire Charge is such a good move, man. Listen, two on Ray. One game two with Screech. Okay, you guys should uh, you should go check instead of asking. <laughs> you should just go check. <laughs> instead of making this more difficult for me. UFK wins. This is what I mean. You guys just you want to know, but you don't want to know. You know, you know. UFK wins game number one. You just watched it, Nostromus won. Okay, thank you. I th I wasn't sure either. I thought Ray won, and then I thought about it, and I was like, maybe Nostromus did. Not that it matters as much. It does matter. I really appreciate that you guys actually went back and checked. Ooh. Double tail combo. Not the most powerful attack he's got. Still doing a good chance of damage. But UFK is doing well. He's still in it. He gets the grit. There was a Screech win by Ray, yeah. But that wasn't the, the whole thing, I don't think. Oh, the swing miss at 49%. Stormfly needs to swing first. Million stabs at 60. This could do it. That's going to do it. Do we see a grit? No grit. UFK with the grit win. Yikes. He gets it. Gets the steal. Rough matchup for him, but he did the thing. Tiggs El Grande and Nick Ribcage next.
Oh, 300 biddies. Yeah, it's got some opsets. Congratulations. Congratulations. That was a really rough match for UFK for his first fight. So. Glad that worked out for him. I would have liked to see Stormfly win as well, to be honest. I really like Power Zoom. Prediction is live. I especially like Power Zoom when it goes all in on the heavy techs. But we didn't get to see any heavy techs. We only saw sharp techs that didn't crit and then hit techs. You love both mons. I like Tiggs. Of course, I like my own boy a little bit better. You know, you can't blame me for that. Nostromus one, thank you for letting me know. I do appreciate it. Okay, what are the odds looking? Fifty-one forty-nine, right down the middle. Here we go. Takes with a very slightly faster guts rate. You don't often see a faster guts rate on a Zilla. Wing attack is gonna land, won't be enough to kill. Tail Ash is at 68%. Ooh, he dodges that. Takes though with a slight guts lead. And go for knocking up. Good chance to crit on this. Could do big damage. No crit though. Wing attack is 66, that lands. Nick Ribcage wins game one. Gotta love your own the most. Y you gotta. You gotta. Also, Nick Ribcage is a long throwback. We built him forever ago, like six months ago. Goes for the Dragon Punch, misses. I really didn't want Dragon Punch on him. I got stuck with it. Two in a row? Oh my god. He knows. He knows I don't like it. He's forsaking me. Big damage there. 500 damage. Goes for it again. This is the second time. Ooh, the foolery. Dragon Punch lands, 298 damage. What a crappy deck. Charge on the 50-50, goes for Earthquake at 30. That one's gonna miss. Hits the wing attack, 255. Both monsters very close to death. Next hit wins for both of them, I'm pretty sure. I don't think there's anything either monster has that won't kill at this point. Belly attack may not kill, or scratch may not kill, but it's gonna be close. Goes for belly attack, 51%, lands. Yeah, belly attack's enough. There's the grit, but too much time has passed. Tiggs wins game two. I'm just now noticing his spine is just one kind of long tube. You, there's supposed to be bones, but it looks like it's uh, just a design. It doesn't look like actual bones. All the old bones made of green dust. Bite lands, minus eight guts. A little bit of withering there. Wing attack hits, but Tiggs has a huge guts lead. We've seen this before. Tail Ash is 68. How much damage are we looking at? 444 damage. Belly attack at 53. That one's going to miss. We saw it kill around the same range last time. Wing attack 65. Ooh, we see a miss there. Belly attack hits. 274. No grit that time. It wouldn't be a Nick Ribcage match if he didn't lose because he swung... Uh, and missed on a wing attack. Tiggs wins that one, 2-1. Two, one. GG's, man. Okay, next up we got Ultima and Jamlord. Asphera. Jam Lord. Sub specifically to use it for Zilla fights. We've been. F oh. Belly attack victory? Oh no. You guys are. You're too. I don't know. Am I just like way older and more puritanical than everyone? Just like putting their fetishes out in the open for everyone to see. I don't know. 
Uh, okay. Let me do the scores here. Ultima and Jam Lord. What do you guys like? I'm a pure boy. I'm something. I'm a prude. 52-48. Pretty close. This is a Christian stream. <laughs> it's not a Christian stream. You next? Oh no. Not you next. Not Bogwater next. Gets him with the pierce. Ooh, suffocation kill? The rare suffocation kill, but he grits it and he's still in. He's hanging out. Ooh, dragon punch. Vintoto, thank you for the follow. Two whips is gonna win it. Didn't know its head is invisible. It's actually a hologram. You can't see it very well on this stage specifically because it's white everywhere, but uh yeah, see, you can see the hologram. There's his ear, fin, his eye, his mouth. You can see it hanging out slightly. It's just not super bright. Has a six pack. He's fucking ripped. Ooh, he hits him with the glide charge. How much damage? 350. 350. It's more visible in Monster Rancher 1, yeah. Would be cool if you could pick the stages. It would be cool. Ooh, big damage on the two whips. Puts him in the, the flash and yellow, goes for it again. That's all we would have taken, but he misses it. Blind charge again. Not enough to kill. Needed the crit. Next hit wins. 51% on the pierce. Jamlord is gonna take it. Yeah, I would really like it if you could pick the stages, but unfortunately, you can't. So Jamlord moves up the kick boss and bog water. Bog water. Okay, so who do you like here? You're so bad at predicting these. It can be really hard. The entry stages would be nice, yeah. Boggy boy. Okay, what are we at? Prediction. 65% on the kick boss. Who hits the bang opener? 60%. Bogwater doesn't like that. He's gonna cube him. Uh, he did not cube him. He tried. I kick at 45. Yikes. Bogwater, not in a dodging mood today. Not in a dodging mood that game. He wanted to see what his opponent was going for. Now it's time to swing. Nope. No three cubes once again. And some with the stab though. 220. God, why is uh, Hare's arm so segmented on this stage? Like, you can see through it so clearly. Gross. Three cubes again. I don't think that move has hit today. Straight would be a good finisher. It goes for another three cubes. That's... What are you going to do? 
That's pretty rough. Bang at 66? Yeah. So, Kick Boss didn't miss anything. Bogwater didn't hit a 3 cubes. Sometimes he just has rim limbs on the wrong layers. That's true. We did see that the other day. Kick Boss wins it. Very, very hard to lose when you can't get hit and you land every attack. That's what makes a monster good. Turnabout and that 90s look. Okay, choose prediction. Let's see some salutes in my chat. I think I want to do another competitive build on stream sometime. We've been doing only the, the Nuzlocks, and that's been fun, but I think I want to make another competitive build at some point. I don't know what I would do though. I want to make a better dragon because like I like Nick Ribcage, but I think I can do better. Um, maybe I'll make a new one for 2997 since we'll be having the 2997 tournament. Will we be having it next week? No, we will not because next week is the uh, is the middleweight tournament. So we'll be having the light... No, sorry. We won't be having middleweight tournament next week because we'll be having Monster Rancher 3 tournament. That's what I meant to say. Okay, 68% on turnabout? That's where it really hurts, this Naga. Big damage there. He can still do it. So I'm going to enter Proboscis in again? Yeah. Kiss gives him a smooch. Smoocheroonie, not enough to kill, but that is a lot of withering. He gets Fury. Can he get a Fury basic off? Oh, he's walking the wrong way. High beam's gonna miss. Turnabout's got a shot. Doesn't need to do anything big, just needs to swing. Misses it. With the way Plash and Koshin played out in the end. Do I think there will be another one? I don't know. I hope so, but... The grit misses. Or sorry, the kiss misses after the grit proc. Gets him with the thwack. Think the drop stats have a big effect on middleweight monsters? No, I don't think they matter at all. Just on the sanity of the ranchers, yeah, exactly. Raise a golem for Angle's turning. Like a purebred golem. 2500 is weird, because like those, it's... It's a time-consuming process, and it's like, they're all one-offs. Reminds me of the days of old. I might reprise a monster I made before. Like, for the two rock-hard tournaments that uh, uh, Stardust ran, I ran a uh, Centaur Golem in King Calzone who did extremely badly. And uh, that was just because he missed a couple of 50-50s. That was the difference between coming in like 8th place overall and like becoming 1st place overall was missing like 4 50-50s. And then I had a, uh, a tombstoner named Balboa who did pretty good. New Monsters Every Tournament was based. It's kind of cool. I like just being able to throw something in a tournament, but I like the New Monsters constantly thing. King Calzone is a very on-brand name. I think so, too. It doesn't mean anything. It's just... words. Misses the I-beam. It's the precursor to Dr. Baloney, you know? Turn Assault gonna hit at 62? Is that enough? It is, but sorta not. Yes, but also no. A stab will do it, though. Right in the eyeball? Punctured that man's retina. He'll never see again. I have to play through this damn game again to make new stuff. 
Oh yeah, because of your laptop? Fuck. Uh, you can, I'm pretty sure you can transfer save files. If you want, I can just give you a save file and you can uh, hex edit the name or something like that. The Kick Boss and Bogwater. Oh, we already did that. Uh, okay, so that's it for that round. Let me uh, finish the scores. 2-1 for the Naga. And that brings us to our top 16. See, Naga's still busted, even with that. No, do that one again. Flag on the flag on the play? Yeah, we'll, we'll do a redo. Okay, let's take a look at the stats. Or, we'll, we'll take a look at where we're at. Up, 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 up. Changing names is cheating. I won't tell if you don't. Here's all that's left. This looks very funny, because this is like three quarters of the screen is just empty space. But uh, we got Mango and Sally Bones. We got Mang Donald. We could have a Mango Mang Donald match. There's a Hello Nail. Oakville and Hollies. Mental Gin and Spittoon. Nostromus and Low Tier Trash. Nijimaru and UFK. Tigzel Grande and Jamlord. And the Kick Boss and Turnabout. We don't have a lot of top tiers, eh? We got, well, we got Apes, which are pretty good. We got Mew, which is up there. Anger. This is, this is a nice mix. This is a nice mix. Okay, I'm going to take a quick break, get some more water. We'll be back in about 30 seconds. Okay, welcome back, everybody. Ooh, Bash D, thank you for the follow. We are in top 16 of the first heavyweight bracket of Season 2 of the DXBL. Um, just as a note, uh, I spoke about this at length a little while ago. Excuse me. But um, I'm not going to be keeping stats for Season 2. It was fun having a league where everything had stats and everyone had an ELO and all of that. But I literally don't have time. Like, it's just, it's not possible. It's either run the tournament and don't do this, or don't run the tournament, you know? Can you enter a Ripper if it's intelligence? Yes. You can still raise its power, too. You just can't get any uh, power attacks from Errantry. So yeah, there will be no stats this season. Uh, if people in the community want to run stats, feel free. Uh, a couple of people know how I kept records before. Uh, a couple of people know how I kept records before, so if they want to use that as a jumping off point, you know, feel free. But yeah, it's better this way so you don't have to enter monsters and not have to worry. I kind of like it too. But I know there's some people who want, like, there's a little bit of a... Is there going to be an end of season tournament still? Yeah, we'll still do one end of season. So what I was planning on doing was I was going... Predictions live for this, by the way. 
is I was going to just run events for a little while and people could test out stuff. And then for the end of season, there's like an actual tournament and you enter the monster that you think is going to do the best uh, based on what you've seen in the tournament and how the meta has shifted over the couple of months. And then, uh, yeah, we'll have like qualifiers and we'll have finals. But it's, um, it's going to be basically a free-for-all every week until then. With how big uh, the scene's getting, and I know things have died down a little bit, but I didn't like having to cut brackets off at 32. Or was I cutting them off at 32 or was I cutting them off at 16? I think I was cutting them off at 16 for a while, right? Either way, um, I kind of just want everyone to be able to enter, and if it's single a limb, it's single a limb, you know? I was cutting them off at 32, yeah. So, but a 32-man bracket is just just under a five-hour run most of the time, or just under a four-hour run most of the time. So, it, it's hard for me to commit to that, and that's like without breaks and stuff, you know? It, it was a lot. It was a lot, a lot. Okay, Sally Bones takes game one. This is still 48 man bracket is still gonna take almost four hours. We're at two and a half right now. I'll take three. We'll be done in 30 minutes, 45 minutes, something like that. Hoping to show up for no more Nuzlocks. Well, we're doing a tournament. We'll be doing more Nuzlocks in time. Don't you worry. And I have a couple that I need to upload still. I have three that I have to upload still. Definitely glad the scene is so thriving though, even the cost of double limb. Yeah, me too. Or the 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 more important ones. Ooh, scratch land. Sally Bowen's gonna take it. Didn't get hit. Needs more mum mew. Needs more mum mew. For the more important ones, I might do uh, double limb, and we'll like make it like a full day or maybe a two day tournament. Fenric added the Nuzlocke rules to the Legend Cup, which is cool. Yeah, we were talking about it today. He was asking what the rules everyone wanted for Monster Rancher 1 was, and... It was it was interesting, because it's like... Nobody really knows. So it, it felt strange to, like, put it up online. I feel like it didn't really need to be done, but, you know, he's always adding extra stuff to the site. It's really cool. And thank you, Macho, for making a rule set that kind of just landed perfectly on the first try. There's nothing that's like egregious and needs to be fixed. Okay, so that went to Sally. Prediction is live now. Love seeing the Monster Rancher 1 Koshin. It, th that was the very first one. That was the very first video uploaded by Koei Tecmo of competitive Monster Rancher ever. So it was... It was kind of crazy. I just love that first fight. The worm gets hit once and then swings a 16% tech and wins. So cool to be credited on Legend Cup. Constantly re read it as a kid. Yeah, me too. It's, it's nice being part of the community now, you know? And it's kind of interesting too because I'm sure a lot of us... Ooh, 73% on Hello Nail. I'm sure a lot of us ran, like read the site and... Um, uh, MRM and like got to a point where we recognize names of posters and stuff like that right and some of those old guys some of the old heads are back in the community now like me personer is back in Eagle Fierce is not posted in a little while but I know he's got like a weird situation with like extremely rural internet uh, but yeah just really cool to see all the progenitors of competitive play the people who helped figure stuff out early on in the game's life come back Watching the Nuzlocke has been so exciting. I was skeptical when I started with the hair. It kept getting better and better. Yeah, it, um, the first time I did it, I was doing it in a time where I was like completely burnt out with Monster Rancher. I was just getting off the DXBL and other big tournaments, and I was like, I just kind of didn't want to play. So it was a little bit frustrating having my monsters die so early on, but this file we're on now has been a lot of fun. Hello Nail can't land that sledge fall at the end. Mang Donald is going to take it. Wish you could contribute more. Might do something to raise money to help run LC. There's, uh... Yeah, there's a million ways to get involved. But, I mean, you also need to know if you're stretching yourself too thin, right? 
Death Punch lands. It's easy to get burnt out of Monster Rancher. Yeah. You know how stupid the good Jokers are? They're pretty strong. Just the basics is pretty much all you need. Arguably his best build. You can make an argument for Death Slash as well. Because, you know, that's an extremely easy way to beat tanks. Realize you're in LC for the Sensor Words list? That's cool. Oh yeah, you were doing all that work for that, eh? Damn, punch to death. It happens to the best of us, my friend. We do not have a Mango versus Mang Donald matchup, but we do have Mang Donald advancing. Oakville and Holly's up next. Yeah, seeing uh, Fenric uh, host my videos and stuff has been pretty cool. He's got the Rancher Rundown 1 up on the site. And I think a lot of people have found me through that. Nobody's actually explicitly said they found me through that. But uh, I have a feeling it's... That's how people started watching me. Oakville and Holly's. Choose Prediction. That went to... The Joker. The credits are so cute. They're they're pretty goofy. I like the song though. It's like the least clown song. Boy, I wish I could type. Boy, I wish I could type. It'd be fun to make more champion title fan arts. Yeah, I'm excited to see more of them. We need more people in the winner circle. Didn't notice it since I haven't worked on the list for a while. I might ping Fenric on some new ones. Have you found more? God, there's so many, so many like stupid things are banned. There's a lot of like legitimate things that are banned, but yeah. Don't forget that it's some motivation. Yeah, you want to see fan art of your guy? Mazel draw him. Kick. Kick for 50%? God damn. Kick is such a good move. Give him the smooch. The forbidden smooch. But he's still alive. He got withered pretty hard there. <laughs> I've been there. It spit on. That's it. Normally you don't spit after, but, you know, maybe you do. Depends, I suppose. Ollie's. Gets it. Oh, I beam misses. Actually, pretty good motivation to choose breeds you like over the meta. <laughs> Dude, the fucking Coney emo. <laughs> you got good. Oh my god. Telekinesis miss again. Two in a row. You see Hammerfall? Every move Hanger has in slot one is like. Not best in class, but like very close. They're all really good. Kick isn't best in class because Heavy Chop is like just better than it, but they're so similar. Kiss is a smooch. 300. Shows what you liked over the meta and Jamlord ain't doing too bad so far. I mean, you picked an extremely strong monster. You picked like an almost a very close to top tier monster. Wasn't enough. Oakville wins. Yeah, Pink Jam is the best gel too, yeah. You basically picked a meta pick. Pink Jam's sick though. I beam. Heavy chop misses. Jim Beezy. How are you feeling right now? How are you feeling right now? You sweating? I beam 45? Oh, we got Holly's in top 8 after last week's disastrous out in the first round finish that you had. Stressed? Well, it'd be a little bit less stressed now. Get some of the old zappy zap. 2 1. Sometimes we love Metamons. I've, I've never, like, shot on someone for. Uh, picking a metamon unless it was undine i love how we just got to a point where people stopped running undine completely 
<laughs> even though it's like extremely good. Because everyone else was just like fucking hate seeing Undine. They got bullied. The thing about Undine is that she's got like more viable builds than almost any other monster. Like, she's got quite a variety of builds. She's got the water cannon, she's got the icicle arrow. You can go cold roll for anti-tank. It's not great, but you know, it's still viable. Um Aqua Waves versus no Aqua Waves. She has a lot of uh, variety that a lot of other monsters don't have. Almost every attack she has is like really good or like unusably bad. Only she had more subs. It's a good. She was a good starter monster. And she's a very good starter monster. There's no breed variety. Yeah, I'm. I'm at a point. I mean, I've been at this point for a very long time, and I always talk about this, but I kind of just raise the whatever subbreed of the monster I think looks coolest at this point. I'm not trying to. Uh, Unless it's like the Koshin where I raised a Ripper and then went out in the second round so it didn't even fucking matter. But 76% on Mental Gin. Atun beat one Golem earlier, but this is a much different build. Oh, he, he can miss Hook. Excited for new subs in line, me too. I like the more Mermaid take. He has, oh my god, the 34 crit. Mental Gin wins that one. Yeah, I, I really like... I don't really like the new line one, but... Compared to Monster Rancher 2, Undine looks significantly better. And then, like, the Pixie sub, like, the Undine Pixie looks really good. Um, yeah, the Mochi one looks nice. I'm still excited to see the, the Kitsune, because we've seen the, the Pixie version of it. It's the hook. There's the grit. I'm not out yet. I'm wearing purple lined pants. Love that Moon Samopian are in line. Samopian's so cute in line. Frog around and find out. Frog around and fuck out. Oh. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for line. I'm excited for both the Monster Rancher games. I hope the line one comes out in English, though. I mean, we already know we can play it, so it doesn't matter too much, but... But if I have two Monster Rancher games to play, brother, that's unlimited content. Slap on the buzzer, it hits. That's going to do it, Mental Jin knows what it takes. He's a champion, through and through. First time he's fought, in my tournaments anyway, but uh, either way, he does it. Born champion. Nostromus and low tier trash. How do you stream mobile games? You use uh, BlueStacks, which is an Android emulator. So I can just play on my computer. And it would work basically the same as this, because like, what this is right now, what you're looking at, is a touch screen that has been um, edited to be able to be used with a mouse. This is just all touch screen capability. So it basically works the same way. Okay, start a prediction. Who do you like? Hate the flashes? Yeah, me too. But I mean, that's got nothing to do with it being... Well, it, it does have something to do with it being a uh, mobile game. But there is a way to delete that to get rid of it. I just have not uh, bothered to do it. They can be turned off through, like, deleting the thing and the data. Okay. They're not in the Switch version? Of course they're not. What the fuck? It's so stupid. Well, I guess because there's no touch screen. Is there touch screen in the Switch? There's a mod page in the community Discord now? Yeah. Bang at 48. Ooh, he dodges it. The big ol' Pat miss. Wing combo. Smack, smack, smack. Lightning's gonna land and it will kill. Are we gonna have low tier trash advance to top 8? There's almost no touch in the Switch for some reason. You can use it in uh, 
No, you couldn't use it in D in the, the original. In the 2020 and 2021 versions. Blame miss. Can I pull a 37? Oh, that's a big smoosh. Dragon stares off into the crowd like, what? You're next. Ostromus takes game number two. Slamming down. Ooh. Low tier trash with a 50 guts lead and growing. What's she going to do? Going to waste it on basic techs? She is. Two. Ah, ah, ah. Three. Ah, ah, ah. Four. Gets eased though. You know? That wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. She proxies. She goes for it again. Gives him fury. Uh, you know what? Dodges the bang. Wing attack will kill slamming down. That's a kill. Didn't need the crit. Did not need the crit. That shit did like 2,000 damage. I forgot what fury does. Doubles your damage and withering. So that's a 2-1. Niji and UFK up next. I'm a Niji fan. Okay. Use prediction that went to the dragon. Predictions live, who do you like? Ash hates my mon. <laughs> no, I just like Niji. I, I lost to Niji in the tournament. I'm pretty sure. Niji beat um, Orfala, right? This will be tough for your boy. Exact same stats. Ninety six percent on Niji. Damn, what the fuck? Most of your monsters have been recently getting down by worms. I guess them some medication. It's not healthy. Pinch throw and retaliation with a guts lead too. How much damage are we looking at? Three forty, no crit. Pretty good damage though. Million stabs, not what UFK wants here. It's not the weakest tech he's got, but that. Accuracy is definitely wasted. Another pinch throw. Crit will kill. Ooh, just barely not enough. Both monsters will be able to attack, but UFK needs to do something a little bit bigger. Hits the swing, barely gets the KO there. 30 points off. If he had used another basic, it probably wouldn't have killed. We'll bet 300 bits if UFK wins. Damn. Damn. It's the rolling slash. Angry. Two lashes. You know, at least it'll do some withering. Pretty good withering. Into the pinch throw could be pretty good. Swing is going to hit. 129 damage. Niji with a pretty big guts lead here. Pinch throw here is going to be pretty devastating. How much damage? 426. UFK can't survive anything at this point. I don't even think he'll survive Sting. Two Lash is gonna land again. Do we see Grit though? No Grit, Niji's gonna take game number two. Took me a minute to realize UFK wasn't a hanger. Forgot about Durahan Metal Nerd, yeah. He's Metal Glory. Exact same opener as we've been seeing. Third verse, same as the first, 274 damage. No Anger proc immediately. Pierce throw. Not as much damage and uh, opportunity cost as that pinch throw, but still pretty solid. Rolling slash and retaliation. Good damage. 265. A couple of bites could win this even. Four? You need four. Or five. Million stabs. Will it be enough? It is, but is there a grit? There is a grit. 
And he's in pinch throw range. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He goes for it. He lands it. Is it a kill? It's a grit. It's a chunky. They both got enough guts to attack. Seven seconds left. Who's swinging first? Rolling slash at 99. Yuji needed to move forward. That's going to be it. UFK is going to win on the grit. The double grit. Does the thing. Wormy boy almost did it. So that's a big payday. Next match. Tiggs and Jamlord. Here comes the money. Damn, another 300 bitties. As promised. Oh yes, my god, you were screaming sorry. You were, why were you screaming sorry? You're monster one, you should be happy. Jam Lord. Jam. Jam alert. Gotta start a prediction here. Very low expectations. It's a good monster. It's a much better monster than his opponent. I mean, tier wise. And there's nothing wrong with Tiggs' build. It's just, you know, there's a pretty big gap between. Gel and Zilla. Okay, what do we got? 50 50, right down the middle. Tiggs is a tiger. Okay, fine, then he's a top tier, and if he loses, it's his own fault. Earthquake at 34? It misses. Earthquake is a very funny tech. I like it. The double suffocation. He gets it. This is janky on mobile? Yeah, betting is really bad on mobile. Twitch in general is pretty bad mobile. Hits the two whips. Jamlord now 3 for 3 on his attacks. 4 0 on his attacks, and that's it. GG's. Uh, do be how it goes sometimes. Using max crit with suffocation has done well. Did you go, uh, so he's not bad natured, he's neutral natured, like, but minus 1. Jamlord wins that one 2 0. The kick boss and turnabout. The kick turn? We're skateboarding now? I, I fucked that up. That's probably enough. Turn around. Gemlord had landed almost. I think he's missed one. Turn about, not turn around. Yeah, I think he's literally missed one throughout the entire tournament. He's landed like upwards of 90% of his attacks. Despite never being above 60%. Okay, prediction is live. Neutral minus nature, max stress, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's cool. Suffocation's kind of a goofy move. I normally don't get it, but... It's definitely not so bad that I would tell other people not to. Every monster has the stat same stat spread. Isn't species the only determinant on tier? I mean, build matters a lot, and not everybody has the exact same stat spread, so. Turn Assault lands. Good damage. That's a kill. You're given a stat total, and then you just you allocate your stats the way you want. Ooh, Kung Fu Kick missed at 
Another turn assault. That's going to be it. Turnabout does the thing. Literally rolled. That's, uh... That's what happens. He did the Naga thing. He did do the Naga thing. Just thinking you haven't seen a Naga in a while? Yeah, the, the best Nagas are banned. Okay, so now we're in to top 8. Let's take a look at top 8. We got Sally Bones and Mangdonald. We got Hollies and Mental Gin. We got Nostromus versus UFK. It's gonna be fun to double metal in our matchup. And we got Jamlord and Turnabout. Not gonna lie, tested Jamlord before the turning and Nagas were the hardest thing, even at 13 to 14 guts rate. Well, I mean, they're the best in the game. That makes sense. It does make sense. Sally Bones and Mangdonald up next. Hoping for Sally or Nostromus. It'd be nice to see Sally win. I'm a I'm a patch fan. I'm a patch fan and I'm a, a Mew fan. I should have uh, put the D in. I should have put the D in, yeah. I bet. It's hard to imagine the Naga not winning at this point. That's a strange thing to be sure about. He is strong. Predictions live. Worst Nagas are still very good, yes. Turn Assault is just a broken tech. It's too strong. And then all of the other techs are really good, very close to best in class, but they're only made even better by the fact that Turn Assault is so good. They act as very good uh, auxiliary techs, like Pierce and uh, Stab are both really good. Even if you remove Turn Assault, Pierce, Stab, Turn ass and Tail Assault is still probably enough. And but on the 50-50, misses. McDonald's only got those basics. He's got a huge guts lead. The double headbutt miss, pretty rough. Gonna be hard for Sally Bones to get back in this after that death smash. McDonald has such a good name. It's a pretty good name. Wow, the four misses in a row. McDonald dodging. He's got his dodging shoes on, and he doesn't even have feet. Naga lost in our local tourney. Turns out missing 100% of turn assaults loses games. Yeah, who would have thought? Who would have thought? There's the real. Okay. It uh, looked like he froze there for a second, didn't do anything, but then he punched again. Oh, we got a punch. 238. Real has worn off. Sally Bones can still win this. Just needs something bigger than punch. Oh, the death punch to run out the clock. McDonald knew what it took. Sally Bones had a shot there. Almost anything else would have won the game if it had landed. McDonald wins game one. Edisol is going to miss as well. Wow. So that's two games in a row where McDonald, or two sets in a row where McDonald, like, literally dodges everything. It's one thing for, like, Joker and his basics to be good, but this isn't maybe the best representation of how powerful he is. This is just, like, insane luck on top of an already strong monster. Scratch at 66. Head Assault at 51. Goes for the Head Assault. Misses again. Wow. Kind of obscene at this point. Death Punch is going to miss. He's missing a lot on his own as well. He landed the one punch and that's been it. There's the Leaping Kick. It crits for almost no damage. Pretty weak basic text on the Mew. Death Smash lands. Sally Bones is still in it. Twiddling 2. No, it doesn't do anything. Wow. Okay. So, uh, McDonald gets through another round because his opponent can't hit for shit. That's a 2-0. Hollies and Mental Gin is up next. That, that was pretty rough. 
but it happens. Really like that Joker breed? Yeah, it's one of my favorites. Okay, prediction is live. Who do you like? Spooky clown is too spooky. She couldn't aim. He was way too spooky. He's got the spooky barrier. Okay, who did you guys like in this one? You had 70% on the golem? Dang. Like the Bajaro sub? I, yeah, I think Odium is probably my favorite. Heavy Slap miss at 58. Telekinesis, pick him up. Lightly put him down. Big damage. He's angry about it, though. You didn't ask me to, if you could pick me up. Wow, there's a lot of withering because of the anger. He's gonna clap him, he's gonna smash him. Clapped and smashed. Ah. Ollie's goes down. Mental Gen wins game one. Does get correction data appear in the hit percent? Yes. I beam misses. Heavy slap's gonna hit 57. That's a kill, but it's also a grit. Always can't land anything, eh? Land the telekinesis, and there's the charge. Mental Jin's moving on. Holly's makes top eight and then goes down in pretty spectacular fashion. Next up we got Nostromus and UFK. Nostromus, who almost won Season 1, versus UFK, the newcomer. Okay, prediction is live. Who do you like? GG's a good monster win it. You know, you lost to a good monster. Who will join Mang Donald and Mental Jin in top four? Will it be Nostromus? Like I said, the monster who almost won. Was he runner up? Was he runner up of heavyweight? I think he was. And uh, UFK, who brand new guy. Going slash 47%. It's a big miss. Gonna hurt him. Then trample range, slamming down. Say goodbye to all your guts. Proc's anger though, so you know he's gonna get back into it pretty quickly. Think he was second place? I thought so too. Yeah. Trample range does not want to use a wing attack in this matchup. Take it from me. Rush slash miss at 63. Million stabs at 67. That's gonna miss as well. Oh no. Even had a sketch started of his forte trample, yeah. Oh, I remember that. Nostrum is going to take game one. Just mostly pumped to get out of round one. The last few turns have been rough. I've been going one and one a lot lately, but I haven't been getting any buys, so it's uh. I've been going out in round two. Rolling slash lands, but he's still in it, slamming down retaliation with a big guts lead. Be ooh, 470 on the crit. Big damage crit. Nostromus needs something though, because he can't survive an attack. Dodges the swing. Trample. Another slamming down. That'll do it. Do we see a grit? No grit. Oh, we do see a grit. We do see a grit. He's still in it. He's not out yet. Million stabs at 70. Do we see a grit from Nostromus? Is UFK going to win another match by grit? It's that one. 
This is the farthest you ever got in eternity. Ninth? Top 16, that's pretty good. Rolling slash opener. Hits again. It's not enough to kill. Slamming down retaliation. Exact same as we saw last game. Not as much damage, but no anger proc. So UFK's got no guts left. He's still one hit away. Oh, the cut in two lands. And no grit. So UFK is going to take it. Grits his way to another victory. 2-1 for UFK. Jamlord and Turnabout. More biddies. L-A-T-S go. Yay. Thank you for the biddies and thank you, Jacques, for the, the worst possible way to pronounce that. Prediction is live. Jamlord had a good run? Yeah, he did have a good run. He's what? 48 is what? Three wins to get here? Top 16? So he's won three times. Ninety-two percent on turnabout. Oh my god. Sixty-five percent. Sixty-five thirty-five. Matchup's not that bad, but people do like the Naga. Two whips misses. Damn, so it can happen twice in a row? Buy a lottery ticket. Pierce is going to hit 383 damage. A lot of withering there into the stab. Turnabout's got a good shot. Stab's going to land. Turnabout in the green goes for the belly punch. Those inaccurate basic techs. But he gets to swing him a couple of times. Misses the stab. His opponent gets ease and then gets hit with the belly punch immediately. Belly Punch doing 600 damage? Oh my god. Oh my god. Turn about. Imagine flexing on someone with ease and then immediately getting fucked. Gets him with another Belly Punch? He's like, yeah, you like that? Worked last game. I'm just gonna keep swinging it. Stab's gonna miss Jamlord with a big guts lead. Missed the Pierce at 55. Hits it at 52, though. Good crit. Good old crit. Into another pierce, that one misses though. Stab's gonna miss at 63 though. Two whips is gonna whiff again. It's not landed that in this set. Here comes the turn assault. That's gonna whiff as well. Jamlord with an advantage here. He got everything's above 50 except for three cubes. Pierce lands. Oh, Jamlord's gonna take that game. Game at number three, here we go. I haven't seen him use gel cube yet. I think he's used three cubes a couple of times, but not gel cube. It's the suffocation, no, miss the suffocation, sorry. Words don't mean anything to me anymore. Miss the belly punch. Everyone's swinging and whiffing. Turn assault at 61. Is that it? That's it. Turn about. Goes for the thing. Gets the thing. GG's. A good run. Comes to an end. So turn about makes top 8. 2-1. Jamlord almost made top 8. That would have been fun to have Jamlord and UFK against each other in their very first tournament, but... You know, it does happen. We are in top four now. We got McDonald and Mental Gen on one side, and UFK and Turnabout on the other. So let's get this show on the road.
That was top eight. Did I say? Pretty sure I said top four, right? I meant top four if I said top eight. Pour one out for your jam lord. Go get me my jelly jar. We'll pour it out. Meant to go all in on jam lord, but you were too slow. Well, you, your slow finger saved the day. Here we go, top four. Dre working his protag powers today. He's he's trying his best. Just not capable of being hit. Is your first ever monster you did damn well? Yeah, that's really good. Glad to have you in the scene. Brow smash miss at 34%. Death punch. Early opener. Big damage. Death smash lands. Ooh, crits, but he's not out of it yet. There's the real. And the anger. Anger right now is terrifying. It's it's so bad. Death smash miss at 71. And now Reel has worn off. It doesn't matter. He gets the death punch. No grit. McDonald twice now has gotten Reel at like the worst possible time. Done nothing with it. And then still won. Brow hit at 43. Ooh, big damage there. It's anger. Another brow hit will end it. Goes for death smash. He's going to lose so much guts. Big ass crit there. Is Mental Jin going to swing? He needs to swing. Uppercut at 50. Why uppercut? I cannot believe how lucky this Joker is. This is actually kind of insane. Death Smash miss at 50%. Ah, uh, but this one's gonna land. The Equalizer? The Equalizer. McDonald. Someone hit him. Someone actually hit McDonald. Now he's in it. Now he's in the weeds. Comes down to this. Can he punch his way to victory? Cross smash opener, miss at 34%. McDonald in a good spot. 40 guts lead. Can do a big work with those punches. Punches and smashes. Ooh, good damage. Angry. Angry heavy slap could be pretty good. Another death smash. Do big damage there, but Edelgen's not out of it yet. Brow hit. Miss at 43. Charge is going to land at 48. 600 damage. 50% miss into 27% hit. Percentages. That's how it works. He punches. Bang Donald. Going to Grands. Can anyone stop him? Can anyone hit him? We got UFK and Turnabout. Coming up next. We've seen this tank Durahan build quite a few times before. It's pretty good. It really does come down to if you land the uh, if you land the roll off the beginning though. If you miss it, then you're in a lot of trouble. Okay, start a prediction. Who do you like? Second last bet of the night. So yeah, we'll be ending stream a little bit early tonight, which is, you know, it happens sometimes, not the end of the world. Go we'll tag with the plot armor. I wonder where the armor goes. Is that just the cape? Plot cape. 78% big bets on UFK. We got 10k. 10k on UFK from one specific better. Bowling slash 40. Misses at 40. A little bit of damage there. Ooh, dash slash misses. Turnabout really wants to use. Basically, all of his moves here are fine. The basics are probably his best bet, though. He has to attack a lot of times. But belly Punch does a decent amount of withering. Only cost 10. Black is just objectively worse than Belly Punch in this matchup, but you know, if you keep swinging, it doesn't matter. Cutting two on a 50 50. That hit percent was cutting two. Into the Dash Slash, how much damage are we looking at? 318, not enough to kill. Both monsters can keep attacking, hits the Belly Punch. 
That's gonna be it. Turnabout gonna belly punch his way to victory. I I gotta stop cursing the chat. I got or the matches. I gotta stop saying this is the best thing that can happen, and then it happens. It happens all the time though. It happens way too often. 155. The turn assault, that's gonna get rid of all of UFK's guts. Good amount of damage, but now turnabout can't do anything either. He can survive an attack. Would have had that on a grit? Maybe. He definitely could have. A swing miss is going to hurt him a little bit. Goes for it again. Misses again. I've had no luck with swing. Numerically, it seems like a pretty okay move, but I just can never get it to land. It's like wing attack. Oh, the ease. The anger and ease. Cut into it 21%. That probably would have killed It wouldn't have killed. It would have done like 600 damage, though. What do we got? Stab at 99. Gets him with the stub. Stub to death. Turn about. Takes out UFK. So. Does the Protag armor carry him through against the Naga? Turn about wins that one. 2 0. So we are into our grand finals. We got Mangdonald and we got Turnabout. We're gonna do best three out of five for the grands. I'll give you guys a minute to bet. Both your new monsters lost to Naga. Oh, both new monsters lost to Naga. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Start prediction. Who do you like? Player one, player two. We get one minute to get the bet in. This is the last bet of the night. No bracket reset because only single a limb. Who's going to do it? Huh? Who do you think is going to do it? Do I have my phone? Can I bet? I don't know how many chips I have on the, the Moosey B money account. Probably not many because I haven't been betting very often. His luck just ran out this summer. I'm going to get an odd ad. Um, okay, 27,000 in the pot already. I don't have a lot of chips. I got 120 chips, so we're going to go all in on somebody. Okay. Okie dokie. What do we got? 45 on Mang and 55 on Turnabout. 17,000 on Turnabout to 13.5 thousand on Mang. Wow. Big bets. That smash, good opener for Mang. Remember, this is best 3 out of 5. First to 3 wins, wins it. Death Punch gonna land. Big damage. Puts him in the yellow. We haven't seen any battle specials from Turnabout. Except for Ease. So I don't know what its build is exactly. Like, could be power, could be anger, could be uh, crit based. But Naga's crit is like extremely bad. I probably wouldn't free go power or anger for the crit on Naga. Mystery Snake, exactly. Punch him to death, Mang Donald wins game one. Game two, here we go. Game with the punch. Give him the happy meal. Put a smile on that face. That smash gonna miss there, turnabout. In a much better position here than he was last game. Missed the belly punch though. Mang Donald can bring us back very easily. Death Smash can do a lot of damage, and he has the guts lead. The thwack lands, but doesn't matter. Death Smash still sitting pretty at 50%. Misses that one, but the 30 guts lead can give him many opportunities to attack in a row if he wants. 
if he so chooses. Oh, the belly punch crit gonna do good damage there. The anger, maybe not what he wants. The stab is going to end it. Or is it? Another grit win. McDonald has nine seconds to make this happen. 49% misses it there. He needs to win. If his opponent grits, he loses. So he needs to get the KO with no grit. It's turn about grit. He does. If the prophecy, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Turnabout's going to take game at number two. Since we're ending early, do you want to do a third place match? We can do a third place match. We'll do that after this. It won't matter. It, it'll be a little bit anticlimactic as it's happening after this, but you guys can bet big if you want. Pierce lands. Turnabout's gonna just thwack his way. Thwack his way to tournament point. Turn assault lands. How much damage? 590. What an opener. Turnabout knows. Goes for a death smash. That one misses. Mm. Good crit on the death smash. Turnabout in a little bit of trouble. He does have about the same amount of guts as his opponent, but he's on those basics. He needs to stop being so basic. Stab. Stab for win. Stab for game. I think Donald can win with a death smash here. Death punch, maybe not. Stab's gonna miss. Ooh, death punch gonna miss as well. Both monsters very close to death here. Death punch is gonna whiff as well. There's a death smash. How much crits again? The double crit. I think Donald forces the issue and forces a game five. Here we go. It all comes down to this. Stab miss at 58. Death Punch miss at 46. Both got 50 guts. Turn Assault. Ooh, big miss. Turn about, bet big. And he did not come up. Death Smash is going to whiff again. Turn about, slowly building his guts back up. Death Punch not going to kill. Puts him in the yellow. He's about one hit away from losing. Is it enough? It crits. Another crit. McDonald is going to crit his way to victory. Dodging when necessary, critting the rest of the time. Since JP has stopped uh, doing tournaments, is Uncle Dre the new JP? Is Uncle Dre the new JP? Congratulations. GG's. Let's get that payout. I didn't bet on him, but that could have gone either way. 25,000? 25 big ones on that. Damn. I guess you can say the final was a big turnabout. Yes, sir. Almost reverse 3 0. Okay, let's do. Let's do a battle for third place. We got Mental Gin and UFK. So engrossed in that match that you died in Final Fantasy XIV? It happens. Good Monster Rancher will do that to you. Good Monster Rancher will kill a guy. Oh, sorry. Uh, let, let's try that again. I accidentally hit start prediction. Okay. Uh, who do you like? Prediction is live. Prediction is live. This is for third place. So it doesn't matter. But you guys are fiends and you like betting. Guys are fiends, and I know ya.
For all gambling addicts, you're welcome. 62% on the golem. Here we go. Best two out of three. Ooh, the heavy slap. Big damage there. Is that enough? Not enough. Leaves him with three life. Ooh, the brow smash. Nice, out of 61, gonna miss. Slap at 99, that's gonna finish him off. There, oh, I lied, the man loves to grit, you know? He loves to grit. Ooh, the swing miss. Mental just gonna, oh, the million stabs? No way! Do we see grit? No grit there. UFK is going to win on another grit? I cannot believe this. Cannot believe you've done this. No way. Baltan and Modicon, that's amazing. That one looks really good. Oh my god. I'm kind of glad I have so many emote slots open because we're going to make some... Uh, we're going to make some Ultraman ones. Uppercut. Good move to use in this matchup. 400 damage. Into the brow hit. Into the crit. Mental is not fucking around anymore, but UFK just won't go down. You can't kill him. He's unkillable. Time to drop off for a meeting. GG's. GG's, Penguin. There's the slap, though. So, Mental Gen's gonna take game two. Game three coming up. Here we go. This is for all the marbles and third place overall. Who do we got? Brow smash opener. 482 on the crit. Very hard to tank that. Swing's gonna miss at 47. That move still stays missing. It, it will never hit. Heavy slap, how much damage? Is it enough? Not enough. There's the anger. The dash slash misses again. Mental Jin goes for the brow hit. He hits it. No grit this time. The evil has been defeated. <laughs> UFK doing very well in his first tournament. But he goes down. Mental Jin, I think... Was that Mental Jin's first tournament as well? Very well could have been. Either way. That was a lot of fun. Congratulations to uh, Mental Jin for third. UFK for fourth. And then we had... Let's take a look real quick. This was our top eight right here. McDonald, Turnabout, Mental Gin, UFK. Oh look, it's in order. And then we had Nostromus, Hollies, Jamlord, and Sally Bones, who all made top eight as well. Congratulations to everybody here. And thank you to everyone else who entered a monster. My guy didn't do super well. It's okay if your guy didn't do super well. Your guy or girl. Um, this was a lot of fun. I'm glad we're back into the swing of doing tournaments.